that time I've become a creative designer and worked with many companies. I'm really pleased to be working for Sizzix and to be on Achanda to bring you inspiration and education and show you how to get the best from our machine and our dyes. With Sizzix the possibilities are endless and we want to show you how. So don't forget to tune in for my shows with Sizzix here on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Cathy and I'm Mel and together we're Pink Ink Designs. We're a small independent company who produce hand illustrated fabric patterns um, and we digitally print all our designs onto fabric for you to colour, embroider and decorate with three dimensional elements. We've been coming to Hachanda for almost a year. We absolutely love coming and working with the team over there, but even more, we love bringing our products to show you. And we're looking forward to sharing our top tips with you, how to paint, embroider, and make really bespoke patterns. with music that just makes you want to move yeah uh, it's craft price drop thank you very very much for tuning in don't deny you're having a little dance somewhere uh, so even if it's just a little finger going you know you're having a dance somewhere somewhere today uh, so we'll find out where you are because as uh, bidders and buyers come in on craft price drop you'll see your name at stages through the hour just coming floating at the bottom uh, of your uh, of your screen so that's uh, if you are purchasing anything so a very, very good morning to you. Thank you very much for your company. Um, we've got Craft Price Drop on the groove at the moment, which is a brand, brand new and exciting way uh, for you to shop here with a falling price auction. So you're still watching Hochanda. It's still the home of craft hobbies and arts. My name's still Matt. Uh, and this is a brand, brand new way to shop with a falling price auction where everybody pays the same final low price, the lowest price at the end of the auction. So let's talk about how that works. So on your details on uh, this side of the screen here, here. Uh, you've got your item number and that's actually our first item in the auction as well, 430527. Type that number into our website, hochanda.com, or log on live to our website and you'll see a set of 12 big A4 stencils from the wonderful Imagination Craft, Harvey, the shadowy figure behind the scenes for Imagination, Sue, who's in front of camera doing a lot of the demonstrations. They're lovely people. It's a wonderful company, Imagination. Uh, and you can see our start price there at 71.88. That is where our auction is starting today because that worked out on what you would pay for each of the stencils is what you would pay for the bundle. So that is a genuine start price, uh, which is why we're starting our auction there. The now at price on the white box with the bright pink numbers in it is the price that you would pay at the moment, but everybody is paying the same final low price. Factor in your postage, unless of course you're a Freedom member, in which case it's already included uh, because you've joined Freedom for $6.97 a month uh, and it's uh, there. Uh, your um, item number for adding freedom to your order today would be triple eight triple eight. Beneath that is the quantity. There's not many, so let's bring that on now, so that you know, there's no shock or anything. Uh, I think it's under thirty odd. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Twenty six already. Spaces are there. Imagination Crafts always goes quickly on the craft price drop, so get in there as early possible. So much so, Julie, Christina, and Susan, you are already in. Oh yeah. So let's, let's have a look at a close look at the stencils. You've got your one pocket watch with your Roman numerals. Use elements of the stencil. It's got deckled edge uh, on this side. Just use that bit if you want. Um, then you've got the faded uh, ovals there. Uh, we've got them fading in and out. Lovely for your background. Um, then you've got your distressed uh, wavy harlequin design as well. 
And just after that, um, a stunning leafy backdrop. Use part of these if you want. They're all big A4 stencils for large projects. Brilliant for going onto furniture, brilliant for going onto larger canvases. Um, and then you've got your uh, wonderful distress there. So let's list the, the, list the stencils that we're getting hold of. You're getting flower scene, uh, flower screen, sorry, uh, about that. You've got the antique pocket watch uh, over here, which is the first one that we saw. Drop screen as well. Uh, you've got the butterfly and key, which is uh, down this way. Uh, textured leaves, we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, we've got the, uh, yeah, here we go. There you go. You've got the stills as well. You've got the, uh, you've got the cogs, uh, netting, uh, the bird cage and cogs. Uh, here's the bird cage uh, just over there. Bird cage and cogs. Uh, vintage diamonds, broken grid, which is kind of cool, uh, just over this way uh, there for you. And then locket and key. Uh, so many of you in already. Let's scroll your names across the bottom of the screen. We haven't even dropped the price yet, but we will, we promise. Um, even if, I tell you what, even if all 26 spaces went, because this 26 is going to start dropping when these com confirmations come in. Because you can see so many of you in now, that, that quantity's got to be dropping. Yeah, let's have a look. At forty-four ninety-seven for twelve of them, twelve A4 stencils here, heavyweight, high quality uh, from Imagination Craft, and you can see quantity just disappearing. However, the price is still dropping at the same time to forty-four fifty-three now. Is all you'll pay. Remember, everybody pays the same final low price at the end of an auction. It doesn't matter you come in high, you pay low. You come in at the beginning, but you still pay the same as people at the end. Uh, Dan, you are in there as well. Let's have a look at some of the other bidders down at the bottom of the screen. You've got Anonymous in Prescott, Jan in Frodsham, uh, you've got Sue in Mansfield, Karen in Barnet, Terry's in Hindhead, Christine's in Luton, Heather is in Abroth, uh, you've got uh, Jennifer in Woking, Belinda is in Dorchester as well. Um, and as soon as you are in, you know that you've got yours. Uh, 4365. That's that's a lot of big, big A4 stencils. A very, very good price. All of you, the majority of you, got in at around about the 71 pound mark, but you're not paying that. You're paying just 4343, uh, including your postage if you're with Freedom today. Just nine spaces remain, and we are in single figure stock. The danger zone of maybe missing out. Do not let this go. And you might think, with only seven or eight or nine in this case left in the auction, you might think, hang on, they're going to surely stop the price at 40-something. Uh, surely. Now, we're at 329 a stencil. That's good for a big A4 heavyweight stencil. Leslie, you're in and you've got yours. We're looking at uh, the big, 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 big price uh, drop on this now for craft price drop, but only five remaining spaces. You can still get through. All you need to do is phone the number 017337971100 or bid online. It's quicker and easier online, actually. It's hechanda.com to get yours. Um, and you're joining us so early in the morning. Thank you so much for your company today. It's just after 8 a.m. in the morning. And another, now you might think, hang on, surely if you just waited a couple of minutes, another five people will join you. But no, we don't mind about that. We just want to keep dropping that price for you to make sure that you're happy at the end of the day. 34.69, working out at 2.89 a stencil. Seriously, wow. Only two spaces left, though. It's either now or potentially never. But congratulations if you've got yours. Well done. Coming in early. It's 71.88. You don't spend that because you're getting these. 34.47. Well done. Price lock. Congratulations to everybody. 34.47 is all you pay, plus your postage, uh, unless you are with Freedom, of course, in which case it's included. Um, see how quick that was? Let me look at the time and just see. 8.07. Oh, my word. With all the explanation he bit at the start as well, that must have only been about three or four minutes on the auction. Um, so amazing stuff. Uh, brilliant stuff. So that was a big, big auction from a big name from Imagination Crafts. This is another huge name uh, in our crafty suppliers uh, that work with us here at Hochanda. The wonderful crafters companion with the die Zaya dies. Uh, we do not have many in stock at all. These are those staple dies that I think that Sarah, I believe Sarah, um, said, you know, it's this style 
style of dye um, in the classic sentiments that will never go away. That they will be the ones that, that, that Sarah and Crafts and Companion team always make in the, in the classic sentiments. Um, friends like you. Uh, yeah, that's friends like you are special and few. Uh, it's uh, $9.99. Uh, normally. Happily Ever After, also $9.99 normally. So $19.98 for both of those so far. Uh, wishing you the best of luck, also $9.99. So that's making it $29.97 for all three so far. To the moon and back, that's love you. To the moon and back, $39.96 for four dies so far. And then the last one, thank you very much, uh, makes it $49.95 for all five dies worked out at 9.99 per die they are big uh, on the metal as you know and that's going to cut above and below the score line on your card to pop out beautifully here's the details on all of your edge balls uh, they're all available on the website individually for 9.99 however uh, it's 49.95 for all of them together plus your delivery of four pounds 95 or including your delivery uh, already uh, for just that one single price on screen for all five dies. So you can see where we got our starting price from. You can see where our price that's moving is located. You can see what you're getting, and there's your item number. Let's drop that price on craft price drop. Everybody pays the same final low price, but don't forget to check out your basket. Anita, you are already in. Nice one. You've got yours. Congratulations. Uh, our bidder in Tavistock as well, you've got yours also. Uh, congratulations and welcome and a very, very good morning this morning. So are you looking for those really usable dies for cards to get those sentiments that are not your basic run-of-the-mill uh, sentiments, but still usable every day uh, for those projects? have a look at where our price is falling okay one thing we've learned already is we see an amazing price but in a craft price drop auction an amazing price just gets better and better and better as the auction goes on don't run the risk in wait too late because at 6.99 per die that's a shockingly good offer already if it goes lower, brilliant. If it closes here, excellent. It's, e it's either way, it's great news, isn't it? We don't have many, though. I think we better put that on the screen now, actually. If, if it's particularly low, we should always give that warning ahead of time. Let's have a look. Only nine left now. Oh, my goodness me. Um, OK, it looks like the auction could be closing on or around £34. So definitely make sure that you are getting there. These have been quick auctions so far. Everybody in at the beginning pays the same final low price too. Uh, Anita, you got in really early at forty nine ninety five, but you're not paying that now. Barbara, you are already in there now, and you've just made that number six there. Uh, Susan, congratulations, you've just brought us down from five spaces now. Five spaces. Uh, if you order now, you will get these right now, and hopefully not miss out. Hopefully, uh, fingers crossed for you. At thirty one eighty nine, we said a few minutes ago, it looks like. Hang on a minute, because we said it looked like the auction might be closing on or around £34. I was going to say, well, hang on, 31 something but now it's working out at £5.99 a die. Leslie, you're going to love that price now. You were in £5 ago. Uh, but now we can save you there too, about a pound per die off uh, so far since you got in there, Leslie. Um, it's now £5.99 a die. Uh, and it was £9.99 at the start of the auction, uh, which you can still buy on our website individually if you fancy, £9.99 per die. Um, why not get all five for £29.06, £29.60? Uh, now, you're just in there making it two spaces only. Uh, to get hold of yours, all you need to do is call the number 01733 797 one double zero. Uh, to get in this morning, you can order on the website as well on hochanda.com. And my word, it's early, so thank you very much for joining us uh, here this morning. It's lovely to see you. Uh, live on Hochanda, don't adjust your set if you're tuning in thinking, oh, what's going on here? It's a bit different. Uh, it's craft price drop, a brand new, even with one left. <laughs> Even with one space remaining, we're down at twenty-five sixty-nine, including your postage if you're with Freedom. Five pounds thirteen a die of that gorgeous quality that you get from Dye's Eye. You know the stuff, don't you, from Crafters Companion? Uh, the price is still dropping even with one left. It shows how generous we can be and want to be on our falling price auctions. 
We're now under the £25 mark. I was wrong, hands up. I thought when we're at £34, I said, I think this auction looks like it could be closing on or around £34. Hold my hands up, I was wrong. Just one space remains and just one of you will close this auction and everybody will pay the same final low price. Uh, you can search for the bundle on our website with that number up there. You can buy these dies individually uh, or you can get the whole bundle for that last person. We're doing this price uh, plummet now. We're bringing it down even further for that final person. But everybody benefits. Everybody benefits from that last craft price drop. And now, in case you've got your calculator out, I can do it for you. That's under £4.50 per die now. Val from Ipswich. I think that was you getting the last one well done. Price lock. Congratulations, everybody. You paid 22 49 for a really top, top name in dies. Now then, as a falling auction format, uh, here on uh, her channel at Home Craft of his Nights, this is Craft Price Drop. We've never seen this item on our show. Uh, brand new to Craft Price Drop now and carrying the Tim Holtz name. The Tim Holtz name is on our one day special uh, and Tim Holtz's name permeates all the way through the craft world with your uh, distress inks uh, as well as your steampunk uh, as well as your bigs dies and thinlet dies that Tim designs. We've got a new bidder in already and we haven't even seen what we've got. So that shows the faith in uh, Craft Price Drop, but it also shows that you know exactly what you want. Uh, you can search for the item number to see what's included uh, just before. Um, but you've got uh, the um, wonderful mixed media uh, sort of goodies here uh, with your uh, stunning, stunning style, uh, with your uh, beaded design for the finish. Imagine those painted and distressed up. You know, get some metallic paints on there, get some black paints and sand it back. You know, distress those pearls uh, up. You've got more of your embellishments uh, over here, um, as well as your um, lovely tissue tape there too. Um, uh, those tissue tape designs, which are, I've never seen anything quite like it. Love those designs um, in there. Um, the Ideology by Tim Holtz. If you are into your mixed media, you're in the right place here, definitely. Um, this is the... Um, well, it's like mount board or, 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 or thick cardboard uh, for throwing your media at, uh, for popping it out, but also using it as a stencil, but throw your paints at it. 52.37 is where we're starting, but it's nowhere near where we're finishing today. Including your postage if you're with Freedom, adding 4.95 delivery if you're not. Let's do a big drop in honour of Tim Holtz. Let's do a big price plummet, a big craft price drop. Ready? Let's get this down. Whoa. Straight in there at under £30. Now, already that's over 40% saving uh, on our offer here. Linda, congratulations and thank you for joining in uh, on our show. Sorry, my voice keeps going with. Uh, Jill, you're also joining us now today. Uh, you can order now on the website. If you're looking at individual items, you'll see what they uh, are, are priced at on our website. That's headchander.com. On the bundle with your grunt blocks, uh, your baubles, your fancy beads, your strips and your tape. It's going to be a shock for me as well as you with this price plummet down to 27.49. Remember, you come in high but you pay low. You come in at the start, you know that you've got what is on offer, but you're not paying anything more than the, even the last person that comes in. So don't let that last person ruin what might be a really cool auction for you. You know, you want to come in stress-free at the beginning, and then you know you've got yours. You know, you don't want to be there right, right at the end, scrabbling around, thinking, oh my goodness, am I going to get this? Let's have a look at the quantity on screen and see how few we've got. That's not going to be enough. That is nowhere near going to be enough for this morning. Alison, thank you so much for joining in this morning. Judith, you've got yours also. Um, you know, you've got your different items that you'll be able to use it to their own different ways. Susan, you've got yours also. Nicola, a good morning to you and thank you for watching Craft Price Drop. Uh, and the price is still dropping now. You saw on the last auction but one as well that we kept moving that price. 
we kept dropping it. Even when there was one left, we kept dropping uh, on the screen. So don't forget to check out your basket either. Oh, and do you know what? Weirdly enough, on one of our cross price drop hours, we had people calling in after the auction saying, well, uh, can, can I buy it? Where, where is it? The, in all honesty, that quantity is the quantity. For this auction, that's the quantity that's available. So once that goes to zero, that's it for this auction. There are no more left uh, on, at this price on, that, uh, on this auction. Um, we're at 26.65 now. If we can save you any more pennies, then brilliant. But if this auction closes at 26 pounds or near there, then we'll, we'll be happy for you. Teresa, you've got yours. Hannah, Congratulations uh, to you also, you are in 031884 with only 10 remaining spaces. So we know the name Tim Holtz, we know, uh, you know, the partnership with Tonic, the partnership with Sizzix, the partnerships with um, the wonderful distressings that Tim Holtz brings us with the colorways. We know we're getting good stuff here. With only eight spaces, now dropping to six in that time, and now only five. Go for it, do not miss out. It's a slightly different number to normal, it's 017336799700, uh, but it's 031884. We'll show you this bundle, and it will show you at the normal price but not today, not on our craft price drop. See from Milton Keynes, I was there yesterday. Congratulations to you. Well, we cannot say fairer than that, can we? 26, 7, 37 uh, is all you pay, whether you came in at the beginning of the auction or the end. Everybody pays the same final low price. Now, wow, we got a question. How quick were those auctions? How quickly did we get through those? That's the sort of pace that it works at here on Craft Price Drop. So when you see that item that you want, something that you know you definitely want to get your hands on, do not miss out. Make sure that number is on speed dial 01733 797100. Um, and Tracy on Facebook, you say you love Craft Price Drop. Uh, and uh, Tracy says don't forget to check out uh, on your baskets as well. Is, is Tracy doing my job for me? Is it, is it that easy, Producer Adam? My job. That that we could just type it in and just she's made it very Tracy made it very awkward for me there. You just you've just done it from the comfort of your own home. Just by so I'll I'll see you. Um, to to let you know how to how the auctions go, just follow Tracy's threads on, on Facebook. Um, we'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Tracy, thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, oh hang on, I tip my water over now. Do you, do you see what happens when we go off script? Right. There we are. But Tracy, thank you so much for uh, for posting on Facebook because it does show how um, welcoming Craft Price Drop is, uh, and also um, uh, and also that connection too. So thank you. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are in on this auction already, and we haven't even spoken about what we've got. Um, Jean, Gillian, a brand new bidder as well. Welcome along. Um, what have we got? Well, we've got the wonderful CD-ROM here from Crafters Companion with the license for Downton Abbey, no less. Downton Abbey. It was one of the first products in the big bundle that Crafters Companion brought us here on Hochanda um, about a year and a half ago. Or, no, two years ago, was it now? Yeah. Wow, this time, time has flown, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so you've got the three discs with Downton uh, Abbey um, on your CD ROM, um, and you've got all of the toppers, all of the embellishments, uh, all of the background papers. I mean, these have just been printed out on copy paper now uh, for us for today's show. Uh, but, uh, but you know, you'd be printing them out on proper heavyweight card if necessary, uh, or onto paper, if, uh, or, or, or a certain weight of card if you want. Um, but you've got so much here in terms of backgrounds, toppers, all of the sort of elements from the TV show um, that we know and remember. Apologies that some of them are, are upside down. We'll get those um, corrected. But this is just from one CD. Let me just put this down for a minute. Here we go. So you can print off as many times as you want. Now, you might think I'm making a bit of a hash of it, but... The, the top, the top ones were the wrong way up. The top ones were the wrong way up, and uh, these were, these ones are the right way up now. Yeah, there we go. Um, but you've got lots and lots going on here in terms of your elements. We've only got, let's check how many we've got. 
It's the 5 -oh, quick. Uh, we've got 50. 50 spaces only available here. But you get the idea, okay? You get the idea from all of the papers here, all of the toppers. Once you've printed them off once, that's not it. You can print off as many as you want. You can keep it going. But all those elements from the TV show uh, that we know and love, it's enduring as well. It's got its fans. Um, it's, it's, it's very saleable. Um, and because um, Crafters Companion have got the rights here, you've got that PC CD-ROM, triple CD-ROM in the palm of your hand at home. For just fourteen sixty-nine. I mean, seriously. That's over a 60% saving. Gillian and a new bidder and Julie as well. You came in at $39.99, but you're not paying that. In fact, we probably need to explain craft price drop to Barbara as well. You've got yours. To so anyone new to the show, craft price drop is all about seeing what you want, getting in there as early as possible, and knowing that you're not paying usually the price that you come in at because you come in so quickly. Mary from Newcastle, a very good morning to you also. The packaging itself screams giftability too. So you've got the CD1 box there that shows you all the elements that you've got uh, on it, the three discs. I mean, even just opening it up. I mean, let me show you the back here. Um, Elaine from Redditch. There's a really good needle museum in Redditch, actually. You need to go there one day. Yeah, needles. The history of needles and everything. Go there, please. Um, they've also got the Kingfisher Shopping Centre, which was opened by the Queen, no less. Queen Elizabeth II. I know. Um, awesome. Lovely places to go in uh, in Redditch. They've got a lovely subway. Uh, so, yeah, 832312 is your item number, and you are getting in there at just 1355. You, you can't go wrong. Above the stairs, below the stairs. Who were your favourite characters? Uh, with, I think they were the below the stairs people for me. Definitely below the stairs. They were the favourite character. That's where they all were. Should we do it? Let's do it. Here comes another price plummet for you. Everybody pays the same final low price. And we're going to take this under £10 there to 9 69 including your delivery. That's 9 69 delivered to get one of the finest CD-ROMs that has been brought to us by Crafters Companion. Jean, you've just got two of these as well. Um, Yvonne, you are in the auction. Congratulations. You will now pay. Even if you came in, that's another thing, really important. If you came in at 39 99 or you came in at 28 something or 24 something, you are now, you don't need to call us back. We will reset everything and you will pay just 9 69 for one of the most sought-after CD-ROM triples that we've brought, we've brought to you from Crafters Company. Seriously, this is one that a lot of people have been talking about. Roger, Eva, Melanie, you are in there now. This is the floodgate price, isn't it? We knew it would be under £10. £9.69. Jackie, congratulations, you've got yours. And from Felix Doe, uh, you've got yours. That's where I'd end up if I carried on on the A14 instead of turning off here to come to work. Um, 20, £24. Uh, 24 spaces, rather, at £9.69. 62 plus delivery factor that in at 4.95 if you fancy uh, unless you're a freedom member in which case it's all included um, you're saving 75 percent now 75 percent off christina you've got it you've done it congratulations are you thinking hang on a minute all, all these people i want to get in there i want to be like maxine i want to be in there who's christina why has she got one well, i've got one all you need to do is call the number 01733797100 having said that it's much quicker and easier to order on the website hochander.com we started with 50 that's already dropped to 17 spaces only that's gone quick hasn't it uh, the price is still dropping as well so everybody already in you will now just pay 9.55. The price is set at the end and everybody pays the same final low price. Annette, you've got it. You're in there with Downton Abbey, one of the most popular and enduring TV shows of our recent times. We're at 9.55 now, including a delivery if you're with Freedom, with only nine spaces on the auction. Uh, eight spaces left, hundreds of elements from above the stairs and below the stairs, um, and also your projects CD-ROM. So you've got full-on projects um, on one of these. So let's have a look. We've got Fenn in Morden, Andrea in Driffield, Jane in Danoon, Annette in Wellingborough, that's quite close to where we are. Denise is in Grimsby. Uh, Deborah, you've just made it four spaces now. Thank you so much. You're from Bristol. Lovely Bristol. Oh, 
we've got another story about another place in the UK, Bristol. There's a good sausage shop in Bristol. It's in Clifton. I don't know if it's still there, but you can get all sorts of different sausages there. I don't spend much time at home. I'm always going out, trying out different things. Uh, Karen's in Shaftesbury. Uh, Alison's in Haverford West. You've got Barbara in Wigton. Yvonne is in London, which is backwards for Nodnol. Uh, and there's only one space left now. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get that final one? Could it be somebody in Lichfield? Could it be somebody in the Shetland Islands? It may even be somebody in Cornwall. Stay tuned to find out. That was a dramatic pause, wasn't it? Let's see who gets that final one. Somebody always gets the last one on craft price drop. And guess what? They don't pay any less or any more than anybody else. Everybody pays the same final low price. And I wish I knew who that was. Price lock. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. It was Olwyn. Olwyn got that for 9.55 from Durham. Olwyn from Durham. Or Durham, as we like to say sometimes. Okay, so no, no one likes to say that. No, no one, no one, especially people from Durham. Uh, so uh, good morning to you. Thank you for watching with Craft Price Drop, our falling auction format where everybody pays the same final low price. Now on our Half Moon Pod, uh, what have we got? We got our matting and layering dies, and in fact these have rather helpfully been um, cut for us um, so that we can see. Uh, the matting and layering sizes uh, for you. Uh, that's the smallest and the largest is here uh, for your matting and layering dies. 20 dies in total. Those that are brand, 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 brand new to crafting, your matting and layering will be to take one bigger and one slightly smaller and mat and layer them up like so, uh, usually with a different colour of card. 31.98 is our starting point. That's 15.99 per die set. Seems reasonable, seems fair enough for quite a bit of metal there. 15.99 per die set. Now you can get these online. We'll have a look uh, at our uh, details so that you can see how that price has worked out. Here we go. Um, so you've got your uh, hexagons which are uh, $15.99 and your octagons on $15.99. Now these are very, very popular on our craft price drop show. Uh, so we better show you early on on how few we've got. Because uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's many to find out how many are available for this auction. Which is 54, which in a way that sounds like a big number, but you know, on a falling auction where everyone pays the same final low price, it's 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 not it's not enough. We know how busy it is out there already. Karen from Bamberbridge, uh, you are in already. There's a lovely model village in Bamberbridge. No, I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing now. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry. Uh, we're going with a price plummet and we're coming down to, oh my word. Okay, so we're already under £24 for two of the most popular, popular nesting dyes, matting and Larry. Joanne, I'm sure you were in on an auction earlier. Uh, Betty from London as well. You are in and you have yours. A good morning to you and welcome along to her channel. This is a very busy craft rice drop show this morning. Um, Alice, you've got yours too. Uh, so I wasn't giggling, that's a tickly cough that I just can't shift. Uh, so it's 23.96 for both sets. You don't have to choose. <gasps> we're not happy closing at 23.96. No, nah, not today. No, we're going even lower, in it, aren't we? All right, okay, we're going down to 16.97. Get out of my pub. Uh, so 52 spaces only. 52 spaces. Mark Rain, you've got yours. Cheryl, Lorraine, uh, 370-503. To find that item number on our web, it will show you the bundle of both die sets from Tonic, and it will show you them available for 3198. But not today, not here. Uh, 44 spaces left. Linda's... Do you know what? I think we might have to do something really silly here. Shall we? Oh no. I might think you might have to pick me up off the floor and take me to Wolford General at this rate. Uh, where are we going? 1598. Hang on a minute. That's less. Okay, by a penny, less than what it is for one set today. Jackie, you are in there. 39 spaces. Watch that uh, quantity go now. Susan, you've got your. Can you think of a friend who wants these? If you've already got a set very similar, if not this exact set at that price, you, you cannot go wrong. Um, 36 spaces remain for your 20 dies, where you've got 10 in each set. 
So with matting and layering, you've got the octagons and you've got the hexagons. You know this by now, but with core shapes and your tangerine uh, or a heavy-duty machine, uh, the thin metal dies should go through any normal die-cutting machine, shouldn't they? Uh, but that's a base core shape, so you can imagine cutting cotton and you can imagine cutting felts potentially with these. Despite them being designed to work with paper and card, um, you know, because it's a base core shape, I think you should be all right potentially there. <gasps> Surprise, surprise, it's another price plummet. This is a great way to wake up, isn't it? 1347, the year New College in Oxford was founded. There. If you check Wikipedia now, you'll know that's true. 1347, New College in Oxford. Hugh Grant went there. 1347. It's not rubbish. Check, an online, check the online encyclopedia now. New College, Oxford. Uh, Hugh Grant's chosen university location. Uh, that's the year it was founded. Um, do, do check it. Check it on. Check it on an internet. Uh, 16 spaces only. 370503. Basically, I've, uh, I've made sure I've got a fact for every number. Uh, for six spaces, that's crazy now. This, uh, that's going so fast. Um, five spaces only, you've only got four spaces. And it's off, it's off. It's including your postage if you're with Freedom. It's plus 495 if you're not with Freedom. Uh, Phyllis, you've just taken us down to two spaces now. And Gwyneth, I think you might be getting the last one well done. Price lock. Amazing stuff. Well done to everybody there. Um, 13.44 is all you pay uh, on that last craft price drop auction. Um, with the, with the, am I right? Thank you very much for that. Because I've, uh, what I've done, they've checked it on a Google. Um, what, what I've done is I've made sure I've got a fact for every number between, you know, 940. Because I'm thinking that might be a, a, a sort of a lowest. Did you get a 2-1 as well? Unbelievable. He's put that to good use. Um, and, then, and then I've just got a fact for every number, just in case, uh, to make my craft price drop out that, that bit more interesting. Um, so, yeah, um, you can't go wrong uh, with any falling auction. Um, you've got your autumnal sprig stamps here. The earlier you get in, the safer it is, the less stressful it is, uh, and you know that you've got the item. You're not paying any more than anybody else. And everybody pays the same final low price. 301386, if you look that item number up on our web, you'll find the 18 stamps together in a bundle, and they're 12, uh, is it 12.99 each? Yeah, 12.99 a set uh, of stamps. It's a good name, this, isn't it, Tonic? It's a good brand. Good brand to, uh, to have. Christine, you are there already. Nice one. Um, let's have a look at the stamps then. They, they're autumnal, they're, they're usable in that sense. Um, in building an image, you've got your sprigs and your, uh, y your, your leaf formations. And, uh, and, and over here, you've got the very usable, um, very, very usable flourishes um, also over here. This is the sort of thing you can build here and here uh, with your stamps. We've dropped it to 40. You'll never guess what Richard II did in 1469. I'll, I'll tell you another day because there ain't time for it today. Uh, but 301386. Uh, if you type the item number in, you'll see the bundle with an over 40% saving now, though. You're getting it for 1443. And we're still moving. Bridget, you're there. You've got yours. Well done. And thank you so much for joining us on uh, our Craft Price Drop Hour. Uh, Patricia, you are in there. Uh, so including your delivery if you're with Freedom. And if you're not with Freedom yet and you're thinking, Hrm. how do you spell that, by the way? I think it's probably H-U-R-M-P-H. Uh, yeah, I, I, how do I know that? I've read too many children's books. Um, so, to myself. Uh, so, yeah, Hrm. I'm not part of Freedom, I'm paying 4 95 delivery. Well, you could easily join Freedom by typing in item number 88888, calling our call centre, and you could say, I fancy joining Freedom today, uh, and it's just 6 97 a month, and you'll get unlimited standard delivery, uh, you'll get a badge, you'll get a monthly newsletter, and you'll get discounts as well on, on Freedom events and stuff like that, because we had a Freedom Flash save recently, didn't we? Um, so, yeah, it's 11 83 uh, including your postage today if you're with Freedom. How many have we got left in the auction? Let's have a look. It's not even 27, it's still moving down to 26. So yeah, on a falling auction, is it best to wait until the end so that you're not paying a higher price? No. Uh, no, 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 not at all. It's best to come in as early as you can 
and then because everybody pays the same final low price, it's all good. It's all good, yeah. Um, so 11.83 plus delivery, or including your postage, with our last 17 spaces left. 301386 with only 15 spaces remain there. Patricia's in Stoke on Trent, Bridget's in Bristol, Belinda's in Dorchester, Christine's in Ferndown as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Craft Price Drop today. It's a, a great way to boost the stash, a uh, great way to get gifts as well. Because rather than paying full price, it's right now a better than half price offer. So it's less for both of them than you'd normally pay for one stamp set here from Tonic. Uh, but we've only got the 12 spaces left. 12 uh, or a dozen. Uh, Julie, where's Julie today? Street. Okay. Which street? Just street. I'm going to look that up after the show because it's very, very rare that I would hear a place name that I've not heard of. There's a place called Street. I'm going to look that up later. I'm going to have that have a look on it. I'm going to use her channel's internet. Um, I'm going to do that. Uh, so six spaces only. Uh, just down to five at 11.31. Plus your delivery or including your postage if you're with Freedom. 301386. I really, really want you to get this last few or last one, uh, but everybody pays the same final low price. Eunice, you've done it. From Aylesbury, the number 200 bus goes between Aylesbury and Oxford. It's a double-decker bus. It's got a yellow bar at the front that you hold on to if you're in the front seat at the top, and it's a very, very smooth ride. Uh, one space only. Stops off at Tame uh, if you fancy getting a fast train into London. Uh, Jackie Price from York, lock. home of the Minster. You've got yours too. Home of the Minster with a T. Not home of the Minster, uh, which, would, uh, which would sort out your spaghetti bolognese, no problem. So, yeah. We've had to add a few items to the show, I think, because we've been so quick on the auctions. We thought we had enough for the full hour, uh, but we don't. Um, so Imagination Crafts, these weren't originally on our craft price. Rate. Sorry, I haven't prepped this. I don't know what we've got. Um, okay, so let's let's do this on the fly and find out. Do you mind me coming around your side and having a look? Can I come around there with you? Is that okay? All right, so what do we have here? Um, Oh, okay. We've got the um, pattern card. Okay, yeah, no, I've seen this on the show before. I've seen this with, 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 with Sue. Um, because it's such a late arrival to the show, none of us know what we've got. Um, we've got, it's 15.2 centimetres by 15.2 centimetres. Are they all the same size? Let's find out. Yeah, all these are 15.2 centimetres square. These ones are as well. These are kind of cool. Look at these designs. Um, and how many do you get there? Is it, it can't be only one. Um, oh, it's been designed by Lavinia Stamps exclusively for Imagination Crafts. Uh, but there's five. There's five in there. Yes. Five pieces, five pieces of the same pattern. So you've got five of this pattern here. I've got a pair of shoes that that uh, that colour and pattern at hand. I haven't really. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the that sort of vintage newsprint and this too. Um, we've had to add these on because we've had so many quick auctions. So forgive me looking on the fly at what we've got. Um, you get 190 sheets in total. Quick maths. Two pounds forty a pack. That is very quick maths. Uh, which is very good value for Imagination Craft quality. Uh, designed by Lavinia Stamps exclusively for... Exclusively? Shall we just check that before I say it on TV? Yes, exclusively for Imagination Craft. Um, these ones... Oh, Dawn uh, on Facebook as well. You're a fan of, uh, of Craft Price Drop. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Bridget from Bristol. Uh, you are already in uh, as uh, two. So this is 300 GSM printed cardstock. This is the different size. So these ones are 15.2 centimeters square, and these ones in the front are um, 195 mil, so 19 and a half centimeters by eight and a half centimeters. Okay, you're already coming in. Karen from Basingstoke, uh, you've got yours too. 728581, that's the bundle item number to find all of these pattern cards on the website. They're very, very... I've, I've known that it's a pound a pack. 38 packs for exactly a pound a pack. So, Karen and Bridget, you came in at the start, you came in at £91, but you're not paying £91. You're paying just £38. 
bonus. Uh, however you want to put it. Um, and the price is still dropping as well. Is that Alice in York as well? I think Alice in York, very good morning. Emma in Swindon. The A420 links Oxford and Swindon. It's a good road. Uh, do watch out for speed cameras. 728581 is your item number on 38 pattern card packs, where you'll find the price to be £91 on our website. But this is our live falling auction where everybody pays the same final low price, so you won't pay more than 36.25 now. Everybody pays the same final low price, no matter where you come in, the beginning or the end. Uh, well then, thank you so much for, for getting hold of yours uh, already. Um, you might think, hang on a minute, what's going on here? It's a new way to shop on Ho Chanda. It's the uh, falling auction format. Uh, and this was brought in early uh, because we sold out. Is it, what time is it? It's 20 to 9. We've sold out of all of the auctions that we thought would last the hour, but they didn't. That's how it works on Craft Price Drops. So brought in late in the day uh, to make up that time. Um, at 35.57. And now we've set a goal for ourselves because we've got about three or four other auctions that we've brought in late notice. We've kind of thought, well, we've made a rod for our own bats, so we want to fit them all in now. How many in this auction? Let's find out. Just 35. That's, that's not going to be enough. Watch that quantity go because this price is really low. The price is dropping and the quantity is dropping. We're not just hanging around at £35.23 thinking, oh, it's got to close here, surely. No, no, no. We'll keep it dropping until everybody's in. Susan in Western Supermare. Oh, the pier. The pier at Western. There's a brilliant mini golf course there as well, just by the pier. There's a, a cracking uh, multi-story car park. You can park there all day, do mini golf, get on the pier, eat your chips. But don't spill your gravy on your jeans. Been there, done that, and I uh, didn't have anything to change into. So luckily they've got a Debenhams. Uh, so 27 spaces at 34.72, including postage. <gasps> It's, if you're a Freedom member, that's including postage. If not, it's plus 4 95 uh, in delivery. Don't check out your basket too late or forget to. Oh, goodness me. Uh, don't, don't go to check out too late and find it's already bounced out. 21 spaces. Sue, you've got yours. Thank you for joining in um, today. This is a brand new auction and brand new item for Craft Price Drop. Um, and brand new to all of us as well. Imagine that, prepping a show late last night. Uh, but then all the auctions have run out early because we've been so quick on them and you've been so quick, so thank you. Uh, so this is uh, Superman. Superman's in. Oh, Sue from Mansfield, sorry. Um, Sue from Mansfield. Let's get that cleaned out. No way Superman would have been in. Uh, 14 spaces only. Uh, at 728581, we'll show you the price at £91 normally. But not today, not what are we doing this for. Drag my eyes again. 29.49. We've gone under 30 pounds. That is how much per pack now? It's um, multiplied up. It's 70 minus the three. 77. 77p per pack. Quick maths. Uh, just 12 opportunities left though. 77p per pack for 190 sheets in total. Um, you can eat with it, you can stencil through it, you can dry brush through it as well, you can get your gilding references on there. Try and boss it and see what happens too. Uh, only a few spaces remain. Uh, Susan from Northwich, uh, congratulations to you. Uh, with only five left, who's going to get one of those last few spaces? Oh, our bidder in Falmouth. Good surfing, surfing country there. Sandra, you've got yours. B from Casgrad, congratulations. Melanie, I think you've just got the last one. Well done. Price lock. Congratulations, thanks to Price Lock Man there at the end there. Just under thirty pounds uh, for our last lot. Uh, on craft price drop there from Imagination Craft. That was brought in late, as is this, uh, because uh, we've we've run out of auctions early. We needed to add a few more on for you uh, because uh, we've got through them very quickly. Um, so what have we got here? Uh, we've got our um, fancy pants, fancy pants board. Uh, the biggest board is 12 by 12, 12 inches by 12 inches. So we know our 12 inch by 12 inch paper pads. Uh, brilliant for scrapbooking, great for your larger craft. Uh, and what have you? got here you've got um, three of each uh, three of each design okay so I've got three designs um, you've got your uh, book it tabs tags and doodles and photo fun Harriet from Litchfield 
You're already in. You've got it. So are you into your mixed media? Are you into your uh, heavyweight mount board or, or, or grunge board uh, uh, and, uh, and going into your mixed media style? Um, this is working out at 14.81 each, each pack of three. They are available separately, actually. If you want to get them separately, you can. Uh, Bridget, you are in. Uh, in fact, Bridget, you, you've been in a lot of auctions actually today. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us on Craft Price Drop, uh, where everybody pays the same final low price. Um, so we've got all these different elements. You've got the ampersand, you've got the, uh, the, the tags here. Should we have a big, big price plummet, big price drop? Um, because we want to fit um, hopefully one more auction in, if not more. Uh, so we'll see where we go. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, that's under five pounds each pack of three. That's good. Um, Paula, you've done it. Susan, you've got yours also. You are there. Good morning to you. Um, under five pounds per pack of three. It's three of the same design uh, that you're getting here. Uh, Eva, a, a nice good morning to you also. Um, you've done it. You're in very, very early. Um, and the price is still dropping now, uh, down to 14.48. Do factor in that 4.95 delivery, unless you're with Freedom, uh, in which case you don't need to worry about delivery costs. Christine, nice one. Nicola, good work. And thank you for trusting us on Craft Price Drop to go nice and low for you there to 14.27. Um, this is another auction there that we've had to ship in late uh, because we've uh, we've run out of auctions on car price. These are all uh, uh, auctions to fill in the time. Uh, Patricia from Stoke on Trent, I'm sure you've been in uh, on an auction before, so hopefully you're a Freedom member, avoiding any delivery costs. Um, Helen, this is a late auction because we've run out of, uh, of auctions because they've gone too quickly. The prices have been that low. Um, we'd like to get another auction in, so hopefully let's have a look at the quantity and see how quickly this is going to go. You tell me, let's look at the clock. Okay, it's 8.49 in the morning. That's going to, I hope, we've, I think we've still got time for another auction here. I think we can squeeze one in. Um, so I think that quantity is going to go in no time, given the price here. Under five pounds per pack of three. And these are big 12 inch by 12 inch elements for you uh, on your fancy pants uh, um, biggest boards. 12 inch by 12 inch. The price is still moving, oh my word. And the quantity, though, is all going, because these are confirmed bids that are coming in now. Everybody pays the same final low price. You came in early. You came in at 44, 43, maybe. Well, you're not paying that. You're paying just 12.39. Uh, your name's on the bottom of the screen, we hope. Harriet and Susan came in at 44.43, but now you're paying 12.39 just like everybody else. Uh, so who have we got here? We've got Susan in Western Supermare back uh, again. We've got Patricia in Clacton on Sea, uh, another hyphenated place name here in the UK. Um, and the only place name with an exclamation mark, Westwood. Oh, OK, uh, so look it up. It's a good one. Uh, so Leslie and Petworth, uh, why in Peacehaven? Yeah, if you want to go for an initial, that's absolutely cool by us. If you want to be anonymous or go for an initial, uh, that's good. Um, Alice on Facebook's lovely craft price drop too. Um, so thank you for your feedback. It's a busy show this morning, you know. Uh, for a Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., you know, you think, oh, uh, there's stuff to do. Um, Sue from Milton Keynes, nice to see you uh, also. Uh, lovely stuff. Who else is here? Bridget in Bristol. Susan's in Abingdon. Abingdon, just south of Oxford there. Um, if you come off at Junction, um, oh, I can't remember what it is on the A34, but don't come off at Abingdon North if you need Abingdon South because it's uh, it, especially in rush hour. Uh, so uh, 11 spaces only now with a 12.39, including your postage. You can't go wrong there, can you? You can't go wrong. You're not too late. You are not too late to get involved in the auction. Kathleen, great big thumbs up to you, and thank you for watching this morning. Uh, there are only six spaces left now, five only. Uh, but Margaret Sue from Stroud, you've, you've, you've got yours too. Uh, and with your item number there, if you look that up, you'll find the bundle price is now like where we've just ended up. Two spaces only, though. And you might say, oh, it's too late, I've missed out. You never know. Go on, give it a try. Just got on the last one, hopefully. Price lock.
Everybody pays for his £12.32 uh, there. Well done to you. Um, loads of you in on that last auction. Good work. Um, well, this may be our last auction. Um, we'll hopefully squeeze one more in, but who knows? We, we, you know, let's let's, let's hope, hope either way, whatever happens, happens. Um, so from the great name of Tonic, um, you, you uh, uh, know and love, of course, Tonic. We uh, are nothing without our suppliers here on Hochanda, uh, and we are very, very grateful to work with all of uh, and Tonic included, because we get uh, such a large number of designs through from Tonic. Uh, this is a thin metal die, uh, and uh, it'll go through your normal uh, uh, your normal die cutting machine, whether it's your tangerine, whether it's your Gemini, whether it's your uh, big shot or otherwise, your cup and bug, uh, they will all go through uh, your uh, normal die cutting machines. Um, so 641791. Uh, we've got bidders in Bracknell, uh, Peterborough as well, which is very local to where we are. Uh, let's find out how many we've got straight away with our uh, chevrons here at the bottom, just down here. 105, our biggest quantity so far today. But it's going. It's going already. Uh, Stephen from Bracknell, you are already... Sorry, whereabouts? Blackpool. Blackpool, not Bracknell. I do apologise. Sorry. Blackpool and Bracknell are a long way apart. Especially these days, petrol prices the way they are. Uh, 1969. <gasps> For a tonic die. For four dies, actually, um, in the tonic uh, tonic design. Um, Barbara, you've got yours uh, also here. Um, and it's the flip flop style, uh, it's the little things, is the design. Um, the price is still dropping now with only a double figure stock remaining in the auction. We started with a nice triple figures, over 100, uh, but now it's, uh, it's, it's falling away. Um, is this the first time you've ever watched craft price drop before? Have you ever tuned in for one of these? They're live hours. Uh, we're live usually every day at 11 a.m. on the internet. So if you tune in to hochanda.com today at 11 a.m., um, who's on that? Who's on that shift today? Who's taking over from me? Dave's over in the other studio. He says not today. He says not today. Mm, tune in um, and have a little look. There should be one on today. But if there's not, is it on today? It's not on today. I need to read my emails. It'll be on tomorrow, 11 a.m. Uh, and uh, you'll check that out. It's uh, it's craft price drop. Was there an email? I don't know. I don't know. Probably in the archive somewhere. There's one today at 7 p.m. though. I might just get home in time for that. At 12.49. Remember that includes your postage if you're with Freedom. Plus 4.95 if you're not. And 87's just dropped to 77. That's 10 spaces that just went like, that's 10 people that just clicked their buy now button or whatever it might be when they're checking out on the website doing the, the click thing uh, to make sure they've got theirs well done if you were part of that. Um, now moving back to 76. Do you remember that long hot summer of 76? It was a it was a hot one. Andy, my director, remembers it, I'm sure. Um, if you type in the item number on our website, you'll see this die normally for the price on screen, but not today with uh, less than half price at the moment. <gasps> It's not under... Hang on. Under, is that only the second time in this hour we've got under £10? For the second time this hour... OK, hands up, who saw this die set at the start of the auction and thought, that's going under £10? You would have been shocked! Uh, shocked, yes, yeah, so were we. 9.59, remember that includes the postage if you're with Freedom, which we really hope you have done that by now, because it makes such financial sense if you get into the auction. Um, with only about half our quantity left since we first saw it on screen, about, I think it's 105 we started with. Um, it's gone down straight down to 42 now, my age. Uh, 641791, normally 26.99, but today under 10 pounds. Plus delivery or with freedom, it won't be any delivery costs that you're paying. And now down to 36 spaces. In fact, in the time it's taken me to mention the quantity, it's going. It's going that quickly. Good morning to all of our bidders up and down the country, wherever you are, however you're watching us. It's a regular hour, this, on our internet website. There'll be one tomorrow at 11 a.m. on hochanda.com craft price drop. Uh, but you'll also see it at 7 p.m. live tonight. And we've had to extend this show. We've had about three or four extra auctions to make up for the fact that they've all gone. They've all gone in the time. And have we added an extra minute as well? 
just to make sure that we've got time for the quantity uh, to be going, we've added an extra minute. Uh, for these last 14 spaces. You can't plan a craft price drop hour. You don't know. You can't just end it. But at 9.50, including postage, we've got our last 10 spaces. We've got to wait until they're gone before we can uh, move to our little uh, bit in between the shows for Mingo and say hello to Pete Hughes. We've got nine spaces. Single figure stock at 9.47 with only eight remaining spaces. Now, you could be one of those, and it doesn't matter whether you come in at the beginning or the end. Everybody pays that same final low price with only four Four chances remaining in the auction. Three spaces. Two spaces. One space it is going to gain. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much for watching the craft price drop hour. Nice work, everybody. Um, yeah, everybody pays the same final low price at the end of an auction. Doesn't matter if you come in at the beginning, the middle, or the end. Nobody pays any more than anybody else. And may I say thank you so much for putting up with me for the last hour. Not many would, but you do have patience, Bobba. Oh, yes, jolly, jolly music. We've got uh, the Tim Holtz One Day Special with Pete Hughes coming up with Dave Next. We've got hand stitching with Wonderful Fred. Angela's going to be our guest there. And we're letting Leslie loose in two hours. Order your two-for-one ticket offer, or to view all other ticket options, visit www.hachanda.com today and treat yourself and your friends to a fantastic day out. If you're a Freedom member, you'll receive an extra 10% off the ticket price. Hello, I'm Debbie and this is Kim, and together we are Six Mini Memories. We've known each other for about eight years, and we're based in, just outside Newcastle in the northeast of England. We're very lucky in the fact we've managed to bring lots of new things. We always try and bring new things, new books, patterns, fabrics, kits, notions, always quality. And we do get the opportunity to do lots of demonstrations, which is great. We're looking forward to continuing our journey with Hachanda and with you. We've got some beautiful fabrics on order as well as lots of notions. And we've got the new booklets which have at least three projects in them which will have lots of new quilts, tips and techniques. Make sure you don't miss our shows. We always try to make them informative and fun. That's it. And we just want you to sew. Hope you can join us. Hello, good morning. Welcome along to our one day special show. Only the third live hour of this one day special. And um, well, I wasn't sure if we we're going to have any left this morning. I'll be honest with you. It went so quickly last night. I'm pleased to tell you there is still stock.
Over three quarters, though, of the entire One Day Special has gone. Why is there this massive surge of popularity for this? Because it is the brand new collection of dyes from Tim Holtz, that's why. It came off the boat yesterday. You'll be one of the first people in the UK to actually have this collection of brand new Tim Holtz dyes. That's why everyone wants it, and it's at a discounted price as well. You've actually got 72 dyes, brand new from the guru that is Tim Holtz, and we have it on FlexiBuy. We're giving you a £9 discount. You'll be one of the first people to have them in the country. That's why we're so busy for them. They're not going to last the day. We can't get any more stock either. We've tried. We can't. 843100. If you want to get the first opportunity to get these dies is right here with Hachanda right now. You've got letters of the alphabet. You've got fantastic little wallets that you can make. You've got words. You've got uh, fantastic florals. A mixed media collection of dyes that will absolutely delight you. And there are just literally a handful of these left now. Over three quarters of the stock is gone. Is it going to sell out in this show? Is it going to sell out in the one o'clock? I reckon it's going to sell out this show. Uh, that's, what, that's what my hunch is. 843100. Pete Hughes is here. Come on in, sir. Morning. Good morning, morning, right. morning, morning. Yeah, yeah, all good. All wow. Good. What, a, what, a, what a wonderful reaction to this. It's great. You know, it, it's. Um, I remember the launch show last year, which we did for Tim's collection. It was very similar. And obviously, it's brand new. And it's Tim Holtz. And it's Dave Bradford. I mean. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I think we actually had double the response to the previous launch. Oh, definitely. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Twice so, as popular. Yeah. Um, and let's run through what we've got here, because there's so much for everybody. Okay. We've got these, these quarter dies, or these corner dies, just down there. Yeah, those are our mixed media. That's mixed media five. Always very, very popular. We've had those back a lot, but this is a brand new collection for Tim. Uh, they're great for adding detail to your paper crafts, or if you want to use them to make stencils. Fantastic, really versatile set. So that's the mixed media corners. We've then yeah. got this fantastic die that cuts out this beautiful little, it's like a little bag or a little wallet. It is, yeah, it's a classic little gift bag, but also you get the alphabet with that, yeah. so you can cut the letters in in aperture, and they are specifically sized to take gift cards. So if you like, if you've got somebody who you, who you give a gift card to, it's a bit of a cop out giving a gift card, but some people are difficult to buy for, like mm -hmm. teenagers or whatever. Well, that is a perfect way of saying that you really care, even though it's a gift card. And you get all the letters and the numbers as well. You so do. you can actually use the letters to kind of cut into the gift bag. So we've got the save the date there with the word save cut out. We've got, um, uh, uh, we've got the, uh, the fantastic uh, hashtag there as well, if you want your social media mentioned. Next to that, we then have your words. Now, these are lovely. You get two dimensions for each word so you've got the outside kind of shadow and then you've got the inside word itself love create lucky brave and story are the words that you've got there there's ten dies in that particular collection and then next to this um, this is really lovely this is almost like a, a, a little sorter you can put things like um, train tickets bus tickets theater tickets that sort of thing little photographs inside this it's a lovely big size if I just kind of show you how big that is look at that isn't that lovely so again it's great for scrapbooks scrapbooking journaling anything like that uh, mixed media applications i've had a lot of fun with that die i really have and this one here has been kind of made to look uh, quite grungy uh, and quite uh, quite masculine just just here there it is look in the frame there we are look there's a little ticket in there we are getting so busy on the phones for this now. This could be your last chance to get the one day special. I reckon at one o'clock we're not going to have any of these left. That's Probably my hunch. Not. Then we have this wonderful mixture of floral dyes just here as well. You've got leaves and petals and so on. Uh, there's actually 17 dyes in this set. And today all you have to spend is $24.98. Uh, if you're in the Freedom Club, of course, you don't have to even pay the PMP. That's sorted for you. Otherwise, it's $24.98 plus the PMP, and they'll be on their way. And then $24.98 in four weeks' time. But we've got lots of gorgeous. Um, uh, frames here with mixed media projects but also look at this little card for example here using the dies to kind of cut out the words from me to you like that and inside the bag is your little gift card as well so it's a, it's a wonderful way to present a gift card you could put in it we did the save the date as well so that's a nice way to present that we said we could put a magnet on the back and you can attach it to your fridge as well um, but you can put a little invitation or maybe an invitation to a spa day something like that it's just a lovely way to, to give a gift or a note or to some something to somebody that you love so now, that's the mixed media We've only been on the air three minutes. We started with three quarters of the stock gone. Now over 80% oh of the goodness. entire day stock has gone. We cannot get any more. This is literally the hottest ticket in town. I know it sounds a bit corny to say that, but these have been released in the USA. They got shipped over yesterday. The ship docked, the stocks came off, and it's now going into envelopes with your name and address on it. That's how quickly you're getting these. And you're getting them ahead of anybody else, basically.
Yeah, very much so. Uh, I mean, literally, when I when I left yesterday morning, they said, "Great news! The pallet is actually here. The the lorry arrived." So it was literally fresh off the boat. Yep, and brand new, 843-100, if you'd like to get the latest Tim Holtz collection. And to get them as a one-day special, saves you money. I mean, to get a Tim Holtz release with a reduction in price, that, that, that's like that's, a contradiction. That's pretty good. Yeah, it, it is a bit better. You know, we look after you here at Orchenda. We, yeah, we, we do, we do. We do. 843-100, if you like the one-day special. Be one of the first people in the UK to have it. Now, another great dice set. We've got lots to, to go down the counter here. This is also proving to be very, very popular yesterday. Lots of you went for this. This is the pocket frame. Love it. Absolutely love it because you can do all these uh, effects that you can see here. We've got little easels with pictures in. Um, you don't get just the actual pocket itself. You also get the flags and the pennants and the bunting and all of that, so you can use them to decorate the frames. Really, really cleverly done. Um, and I love them. They're, they're a bit different. They're, they're gorgeous. They really are. I've, I've got one down here, Dave, if I may be so bold. Um, this, is, this is the kids down the years. It's a wonderful way to present that, rather than just putting them in a hey, old bog standard frame. But you can, you can and uh, bling them up with all the separate individual dies so you can personalize them. They work great, again, in journals or scrapbooks or, or even just as a tiny wallet uh, that you want to put on, an, on a little easel, something like that, or use those clever little clip, uh, clips that we have in front of us as well. So many ways you can present these, but such a clever way of doing it as well. And, of course, it works so beautifully with mixed media, as we're about to see. Aye. Yes, we're going to have some fantastic yeah. demonstrations in the show. So if you want to go for this one, it's only 10.99, and this has been a hugely popular item. Nearly 40% went yesterday alone, 417160. And we didn't spend much time looking at it either. So this is, again, potentially going to sell out during the hour today. You get the actual die for the frame, and then you get all those other uh, embellishment dies there with the arrows, the triangles, all that sort of thing, the bunting. £10.99 for the lot, 417160. Now, these next dies, it's not obvious when you see the dies exactly what these do, but the getting three dies like this and you think what are they border dies well, what do you do with those they're actually rosette dies you can make different rosettes from each of these three dies and you get the circles of course as well to put your rosette on uh, and if you're wondering what they'll make that's the sort of thing you can do with them how gorgeous are these they're great they're, they're, they're gorgeous, uh, and like you say, uh, they fit on pretty much everything. We use them to decorate boxes, we use them for cards, mm -hmm. use them for home decor items. Uh, you can actually trim these down so you can get, from the same rosette die, you can get them smaller and smaller and smaller, so you can stack these up as well. Just, uh, they want to know, is, you know, we had a die with the rosette on a few years back, and I was so gutted when we stopped doing it, because I use it all the time. It was such a great one for doing workshops with as well, because people have so much fun. I'm using them. Well, we've got a freedom price on this, and I've got to tell you that 80% of the stock went yesterday, so this is going to be another early bath. This is going to be another early sell out. 1349 gets you all three. Uh, 277201, that's the price if you're a freedom member, of course, otherwise it's 1499 plus your PMP. Um, now, 277201. Now, what's the update on the one day special? No way. Oh, I don't believe it. Limited stock, Pete. Limited stock. Oh, my goodness. We can't get any more stock. We've tried. We've put, we've put phone call in after phone call after phone call trying to get more of this. We can't do it. There is no more. What arrived off the ship yesterday is all we have. That's all we can get our hands on. Less than 10% of the entire day stock remains of our one-day special, the new release from Tim Holtz. What are we going to do at 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock? Tap dancing? Oh, no. You you just, they did say tap dancing, but maybe you, a bit of karaoke? Oh, yeah, okay. Everybody got a guitar? How would you get a guitar? <laughs> yeah, we'll think of something. <laughs> now, what about these dies? These are still available. Um, 247313, you've got your set of five Baroque dies here. £10.99. Uh, and you've actually got, as you can see, they kind of graduate in size. They go down in equal increments. Really beautiful frames. And we've also got these dies as well. Now, these have got like a distressed edge to them. Um, and they are £10.99. If you've got straight-sided rectangular matting and layering, Dies. Why not invest in these today? They're, they're a really good size, actually. We'll show them to you live a bit later. 841293, 60% of those went yesterday. So they're all still there at the moment. You're in early doors this morning, so it's always the best way to be. I don't know what we're going to have at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Where I have no idea. I have no idea. Sad. It's not so sad for me personally because I like demonstrating the techniques, but you know what? And you've got so many demos lined up for the one day special. I've got special. so many demos for the one day special. Yeah. I spent four days preparing my demos for the one day special oh, and you bought man. it all. Never mind, never mind. That's what we're here for. What so, we're going to demo first. Then? We are going to demo the lovely pocket frame. Great. And we're going to get a bit mixed media, so we're going to use some acrylics, use some inks, a few funky techniques going on here. Uh, I'm going to start off. What shall I start off? So we've got some acrylic. This is baby pink. And always shake it as well. It's always good. 
to get the consistency. And I'm going to use my brayer. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this. So you can see, not much care and attention here. We want to get slap it, it random, slap it all down, because we want it to look random. We want it. To, we don't want it to look contrived. So it's just picking up as much of this paint as I can. There we are. You can go at any angle. That's my baby paint. Maybe we'll get another blob in there. There we are. So that's it. It's pretty much flooded, but as you, as you see, it's not like a completely flat color. So we worked through most of that. Now, next up, I'm going to use a little. This is coral color. So it's, it's kind of halfway. It's halfway between a, an orange and and a and a pink, almost a peachy kind of color. Well, it's coral. Do you, did you it's do coral. Did you do murals at all? Do I want to do mu murals? Murals? No, no, no. I've I never can just imagine there, you know, there's Banksy's around the country. I can just ah, right. Oh, Hughes's okay. That's that's <laughs> and I, I, I do admire that, gentlemen. But no, no, it's, it's not something I've ever done. I've mm. n never taken part in, uh, in vandalism. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've thought about it a lot, but you know. But I did spend most of my career in school kind of doodling, um, so which 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 I since turned into a career. So so yeah, I, I do I do sort of doodle ideas as they come into I my head. I should start. I reckon you should leave your mark. Well, you know what, Dave, when, when I'm arrested, I'm up before the judge. <laughs> I'll, I'll be calling I'll be calling you up on that one. But uh, yeah. Um, Chartreuse. This now this is a lovely, really rich, yellowy kind of green colour. And I'm gonna use this in a slightly different way. Oh, I like this colour. Speaking about before before the judge. Um no, I'm not gonna tell a terrible story. Um <laughs> I'm actually, we were trying to get a, a, a show together, we were trying to schedule one, but I'm, I'm on jury duty next month. Oh, are you? Have you ever done that? No, I've never no, done that. I've, no. always, I've always fancied it. Well, my wife, were, were, my wife and I were talking, we were saying, oh, because a friend of ours we knew, and we said, and we've been called up within a year of each other, so, uh, which is mm. amazing. So that should be interesting. Mm. I'm fascinated by Yes, life. yes, yeah. I, I, I do read a lot of crime novels, so. I'm always no, wondering what the jury is thinking. Very boring case. There we are. Mm. Right, that's that. Now let's have a little clean up. So we're ready to go on there. Um, it's so much more interesting than just taking a pattern paper and die cutting it. And, you know, it's uh, when you've created it yourself. It's uh, it makes it all the more personal. I think. Mm. Um, kitchen paper. Now. I'm going to use a stamp this time, and I'm going to use this lovely sort of background stamp. Right. Um, and what colour shall I come in with? I think I think the abandoned coral. Uh, distress um, oxide's coming in. This is the Tim Holt distress takeover. Oxide. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, great. But he does when he thinks through his ranges. Of course, he works for stamp companies, the Ranger inks, and so on and so forth. Everything is designed to coordinate. So. You know. oh, by the way, we do actually have two brand new colours in the oxides that are on the website. If you want to find those, Twisted Citron is one of them. Uh, what was the other one called? Um, the darker green. I can't remember. Uh, clover something. That's clover, it. Clover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lucky Clover. Lucky I think it was. Clover. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So they're two new colours. They're on the website right now, in stock. If you want them. Right. Now, <clears throat> let's put a little bit of pink chiffon. So I'm going to add this. Oh, I'm going to take my baby wipe. And by mm. the way, these are deco art acrylic paints that Pete's using. They're on the website as well. The Americana range. They're lovely, aren't they? They are. They're great. They're, they're, they're really consistent. Um, you know, the, all, all of them run the same. And it's nice to have consistency. When you pay for good pencils, good inks, good anything, you get that level of consistency that you don't get with the uh, inexpensive stuff, which we don't find here on no. the channel, of course. I've got to let you know, though, if you want the one-day special, this is your final chance to get it. We are single-figure stock on availability of the one-day special. Good luck. I hope you get the last few. 843100, there it is. 49.95 on Flexi Buy today as well. But this is not going to make it through this show. It's not going to make it to the one o'clock show. Definitely not. Right. So what we've done now, I've rolled out some of the light, uh, this baby pink colour. And I'm going to use that to stamp. Now, people don't often use um, acrylics for stamping, but it's, it's a really good way of getting light colours with that because it's very difficult some of the some of the white inks you don't get you don't get that good that level of coverage 
but um, by using this technique, you do. So, so there's a bit of fun going on there. We'll add some, I'll get my spiced marmalade. This will be ready in a second. Now, I've got to let you know that the, um, the one day special technically has sold out, which means basically everybody has got the available stock in their baskets. If you're one of those people, please check out. That confirms your order, and it means you've got one of the last one day specials to go. If any bounce back, if someone gets distracted or doesn't process their order in time, I'll let you know. But at the moment, every single one has been reserved. So I hope you got yours. There you go. So there's a nice little background all ready to go. And uh, let's spritz, get rid of some of this. Oh, no, he's my baby wipe. That's what it's there for. No. There we are. Just clean that up. Wipe it down. Now, that's ready to die cut. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put my pocket frame. Now, this, this is the area which we'll see. This is a round frame. So I'll look for a really interesting place that looks about it. Mm -hmm. And I'll take some of these other ones. At the moment, I don't know which ones I'm going to be using. So we'll, we'll just put a dot them around at random. And the pocket frame comes with all these extra dies that you can see Pete playing with here. The pennants, the flags, the bunting, the arrows. All really useful. Uh, kind of in, in, um, yeah, embellishment dies, really, aren't they? Yeah, and, and the work, they're, they're great for mixed media. They're great for those little journaling um, embellishments that, that people love so much. The tabs have been around a long time, particularly in American crafts. It's one of, it's one of those things that people use an awful lot. And it, it's a lovely way of... Did they originate, adding some drama. Did they originate those tags um, for scrapbooking? Is that how they first came scrapbooking, about? Scrapbooking, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was very big. I remember going back sort of before scrapbooking <coughs> hit big in the UK, and a lot of the products that were coming over um, from the states at the time were, were a little bit confusing to people because they were all geared towards the scrapbooking thing. I remember us talking, saying, "Do you think scrapbooking will hit big in the UK?" Then, of course, it did, and it all started to make sense. But as time's gone on, a lot of these scrapbooking products have actually sort of morphed across to be used in general paper crafting mm. and as we've become more familiar with journaling and things like that we've kind of accepted them so so these tabs I, I love little fiddly elements like this yeah I do I mean it's just a, a way of making your memories more interesting for yourself and also for other people as well rather than just being a picture in an album boom that's it which is a bit yeah a bit boring yeah. you know you can now jazz them up a little bit make them more interesting so there's a frame and yep. um, we're, we're going to, all, all the crease lines are in there as well, so we'll fold that over and to make it slightly more interesting I'm going to use my, one of my distress inks just to give it, um, just to give it some contrast. Mm -hmm. Very often these distress inks you don't have to flood everything with them, but just give it a little edge and it adds some contrast. So there we have it. It's, I do, I do love this die set. That's why when we looked at the samples and there were so many of them, it's because I just couldn't stop using them. <laughs> I was having so much fun. Well, this is the thing. When you get your dies home in the next couple of days, you'll probably have an absolute ball for a good few days just playing with all the elements that's in there in the one-day special. But this is not the one-day special, remember. This is the uh, pocket frame with the extra embellishments. 11 dies for basically £11, 10 99 so a pound a die, which is amazing. Yeah, so usually, usually between shows, I might, I might, you know, I'll prepare for the next one. I'll have a sit down and maybe read a bit of my book. But today, I think I shall be making some extra demos with the product that we have left because there's no one day special. So I'll be busy, busy, busy. Mm, but that's absolutely. how I like it. That's how I like it. And this is, um, what ink is this one? This is Vintage Photo. Vintage Photo. This yeah, is Vintage okay. Photo. So just go giving it some edge. It's, uh, it's, um, it's the, one of those classic, I think it was one of the first six that came out. I know when Tim developed these for Ranger, um, it started with six. They went to CHA for the launch. He was very nervous because it was a brand new concept. Didn't really know how or if it was, if indeed, it was going to take off. But... Of course, it won product of the show, um, was best new product, and the rest is history. I wonder how many millions of distress inks he's sold since oh, that day. Goodness knows. I don't know. He's sold a fair few to me, actually. So, yeah, I, I dread to think. Now, I've got a rotary stamp here as well, so I'm going to add some. Well, and you can see I'm not taking much care and attention with this. I'm just slapping it on. It's half the fun of it. I want it slightly off-center. I want it to be at a slight angle. 
that's what I'm going for. That's, mm -hmm. that's exactly it. Now, we can start to put these together. This one, um, I've, got, I've got a little um, sentiment which I printed out saying, my girls, and it's actually my wife and daughter in this one. I would imagine having this maybe on your desk at work, or in your wallet, or in your purse. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose it is wallet size, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's credit card size. Yeah. So, yes, it, it would sit perfectly in your wallet. You know those little plastic windows that... Yeah. Um, where we put our oyster card or... A, your bus pass. Or your bus pass. Mm. Not quite yet. Not far <laughs> off, but not quite yet. But there we are. So <laughs> that, that's in there. And I'm going to fold that over the top. But what I'm, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my, my stapler just to save time. But I do like using this, this little tiny attacher stapler. With, uh, with kind of mixed media projects. Yeah, so it makes it look more industrial. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Now this is the one, you'll see there's some contrast between the edges of this because we did use that um, ink before. So we're gonna put that on there. We'll bring one of these tabs in from this, from this side. So it says high five. You can use brads, you can use, you can use pretty much anything to yeah. attach these. You can. Uh, where shall we go? Oh, a couple of arrows. Why not? One pointing down. Well, well, we'll overlap these, I think. Like that. And uh, last but not least, we'll have that one up there. So there's no rules as to where to put these little extra embellishments. Absolutely just, not. Just plug them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different every time. It's whatever floats your boat. Yep. And then finally, here is my phrase. It says, my girls. We'll take the vintage photo. Just give that a bit of an edge. So this is something I pre-printed. Now, before I stick this down, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take something like this. And I'm going to give it a slight curl. And I'm going to put the glue in the center like that. So when I place it down there, it's going to stand proud either side. Oh, I like that. Then you can take that, you can put it on a little easel, uh, you can put it in one of those clip frames or something like that. You can, you, can, you can do whatever you wish. And now look how different that is, how much more special that is. The picture itself is gorgeous and is lovely on its own, but when you mix it with a little bit of um, extra uh, interest, colour, different images. I love it. Absolutely love it. So if you want the pocket frame, that is £10.99. 11 dies in there. You get the main die to make the actual frame to put your picture in, but then of course you've got all those other embellishments, the flags, the points, the all that sort of thing. Now if I've got, I'll show you here a few of the other ones that have been done by Pete. I love them. Absolutely love them. And they can, you can make them into like storyboards if you want to. How beautiful are those? They really are very, very special, very unusual. Uh, and I love them, I really do. Whether you're popping them in your purse or your wallet or whether you're going to put them on display. I love what you did with the picture frame. Let me just grab the picture frame and show you this. I love this. That, I just think, is absolutely brilliant. Like a washing line effect. But again, it could be your children, it could be pictures from a holiday, an adventure, a weekend away, a, uh, you know, a trip to the, uh, to the water theme park or whatever it might be that you just want to cherish and remember. Love it. So £10.99, 45% of the stock has gone on this one, 417160, the pocket frame by Tim Holtz, 1099. Okay, so this is the pocket frame, this is what you get, you get all of the embellishment dies at the bottom and also the main die to cut the frame out which is at the top there, and it's £10.99. Now, it was uh, available in a pair as well, but that did actually sell out. Those two were available together. We didn't even show you that, but you found it on the website, and it's gone, I'm afraid. So the only way you can get that is individually now, if you'd like it. And the one-day special has now completely sold out, so congratulations if you got the one-day special. Um, it lasted two live shows and five minutes basically. Um, so what else is in the show? What else can you go for? We've got our rosettes. They are still available and we'll show you how to make these um, in the next few minutes actually because when you see the die it's not obvious. When you look at the back you think well how on earth is a long rectangular die going to make me a circular object? Um, it's all become clear soon but they are brilliant. Here they are decorating the top of maybe jewellery boxes or it could be cookie boxes whatever you want to, uh, them to be. There they are on the front of cards. Really lovely. And you get three different ones so three different designs. You get the one that's got the little aperture in it, like that one there, and that one there, really lovely. Uh, and then there's another one there as well. So one of them basically has got like pointed leaves, the other one's rounded leaves. Um, two of them have got little apertures, one's got like a little pear drop in it, and the other one is completely solid. 85% of the stock has gone. This could perhaps be the next sellout. I think they might go very, very fast now when we demonstrate them to you. 277201. 
fourteen pound ninety nine pence. Now the other dice that are in the show, let's show you everything else that is still available. We've got our baroque frames. So have a little look at these. Uh, you're getting five dies here, and whether you use them portrait or landscape, they just look beautiful. And for matting and layering as well, with your foam pads or your three D glue gel, they'll look lovely. And I'll show you. <laughs> Have we got a finish one there? Oh, there we go. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So whether you're using one of a certain size or whether you're matting and layering them to create that lovely uh, risen pyramid style or whether you're doing an inverted card, one that goes in. 1099 247313. The price is amazing on this. Half the stock went yesterday. We have stock available at the moment, but again, this is hot off the boat. Uh, they only arrived in the country yesterday. You're getting one of the first opportunities to get them. 247313. We then also have our deckled edge. Now, this is lovely. If you've got matting and layering rectangular dies, which probably you have if you've been crafting for a while, this is a little bit different because it gives you like a distressed edge, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives you that Tim Holtz spin on everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, you know, whatever d Tim products, it does go with a lot of his products, the sizing of it. So, if you're a big fan, it's a no-brainer. Teaming up that rosette. Uh, with that kind of deckled edge. It, it makes everything look a little bit vintage. Vintage photo to distress yep. the edge there. Rather than tearing the cardstock or the paper, it gives you a crisp but a kind of a distressed edge. Yeah, and wouldn't it be great if we did that as the next demo of that frame? Wouldn't it It'd be, be quite really? spooky if we did that? It would it? be spooky, yeah. wouldn't it? Then? Yeah. It's coming up. So that <laughs> is our set of five. They're only ten ninety nine as well, so only about two pounds a die. Amazing value. Eight four one two nine three and a really good size as well. They're bigger than the packaging makes you think. Because if you look at the packaging, they are a lot bigger than the actual packaging there. Okay. Okay. And then we go on to now. This concept is quite revolutionary and quite different because what you've got here is a pick and mix so you can choose any two themes but what you're getting are a selection of dies and an embossing folder that matches so you've got basically different options to choose from you've got uh, let's run through them first of all this one just here is your birthday so you've got uh, all these birthday images if I just turn them around you can see you've got the party hat in the die you've got the balloons in there the cake uh, and you've got the word wish as well so those are all dies but then you do have the cutest embossing folder which works with it beautifully well and if I show you the picture this kind of um, shows it to you a little bit better if I pop that down there you can see it a little bit better so uh, the birthday one for example is down the bottom on the left so you've got the wish you've got the party hat the balloon the cake next to it you've then got love Bearing in mind Valentine's Day is only about nine days away, I think it is. Um, so then you've got the heart embossing folder with the word love. There we are. Look. Above it, uh, we haven't done the um, Independence Day. We've left that one out because that doesn't really appeal. You know, it's not really uh, <laughs> appropriate over here. We've then got the play, which is the travel one. So there's your beautiful kind of Caribbean palm tree, the sun, the waves in the background, as well as the embossing folder and the flip flops. They're cute. The gorgeous. Yeah, I really love that. Do, yeah. I love my favourite diet. Thing. I think that's my favourite one though. The <laughs> yeah. travelling one above. Love that. The plane, the globe, the suitcase, the word seek as a die. That was summertime, by the way, that one there. And that one's travel. And then you've got that one there is springtime, which is very appropriate. And there's a little Easter chick, the butterfly and the bunny. And uh, if you want to pick a mix, we'll show it to you on the website, actually. Just go to herchandler.com or just phone the operator and they can do it for you. Just tell them which tea you'd like. Um, basically, you have a little look at the show on the website, herchandler.com, and then you select which one you want. So we'll go to travel. Let's select that one. Click that. Um, what else should we do? Should we do the... Let's do the birthday one first one there we are click that so you selected those two add it to your basket thank you very much close it down you're then charged only 17.98 for the two so you save four pounds by buying them as a duo okay and you get all those little dies and the embossing folder as well brilliant that's quite a nice concept that's quite different that isn't it i like that i like it and, and the, the i love the die sets themselves because you're getting a lot of value for, mm. and it's like they're so cute for making mini cards and i know i spoke to connie and meg earlier the two producers they said they love the mini cards mm, and i think i think the the younger demographic do go for those simple kind of statements very graphic very bold so Good stuff. Excellent. Now, we're going to show you how to make the rosette because it's not obvious. When you see a big rectangular die and you think that makes something small and circular, how does that work? Well, we'll show it to you now. We're going to have a look. We're also going to bring in our decal, stacked decal edge yep. dies. Um, so <laughs> I've pre stamped. I pre-stamped this piece of card, and I'm going to take, uh, which one am I going to take, actually? Maybe my larger one. I'm going to place that around the stamp. The beauty of these dies, these Sizzix dies, is the blade is right on the inside. So when you place it down 
over your stamped image, you know you're going to get perfect registration every single time. Now, just to let you know, um, we've put the details up of our Sizzix Big Shot machine because uh, this is on a special offer at the moment. And this is the machine, obviously, that not only copes with the thin net dies, which is what we're showing you as the one day special and everything else in the show, but also the bigs dies. So if you like the idea of doing your quilting, uh, your mixed media, and you want to have a machine that does the big dies, the chunky ones like the cartridges, then this is the machine to go for. Special price at the moment, we have it on a uh, £30 discount, two flexi buy payments of £85, and you don't just get the machine, you actually get some extra bonus fabric. Um, cardstock and paper pad as well you get included some dies to get you started as well so it's a brilliant a brilliant bundle it's on the website if you want to see more about it four two three double eight five your item number and also with that machine <coughs> with, with a machine like that because it's a four size you, we do have a lot of dies which are boxes and bags and obviously when you're using three big 3D nets like that, you need a slightly larger die, yeah. hence the larger machine. So if you're somebody that likes to make little things for maybe bake sales or, or wedding favours or stuff like that, so uh, if you're actually making a few bob, do we say bob anyway? A few bob out of mm -hmm. your hobby, then it's a perfect machine. It's, it's, you know, it's a professional machine. It's Definitely. Really high quality, but, but yeah, it, it does future-proof you in terms of the bigger dies that we have and so on and so forth. So, cracking, cracking machine. Now, I've inked, you can see there, I've used antique linen uh, on that strip of card prior to die cutting. Um, and I'm applying it to the edge because we're going for that vintage sort mm. of document look here. And that deckled edge rectangular die really does create that look of um, like an old scroll or exactly it makes a big difference. I mean, if I wanted to go down the road of the full uh, the full distress job, we we start spritzing it and scrunching it and everything, but not today. Now the deckled edge dies limited stock if you want them. 841293, we've got less than 10% of the stock remaining if you want these five deckled edge dies. £10.99 is the price. There they are. 841293, if you want those, be quick, just uh, under, under £11, but they are. We're not going to have much stock left of anything. I think the last one's just gone, is it? It's just gone to someone's basket, so provided they check out, it's gone. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, carry on with your demo. Yeah, we'll just carry on. Um, now, what I want to do with my rosette, I, wa I want the text running around the outside like that. So I'm going to actually stamp it in a straight line. I'm going to take a, a text stamp, which I have down here, and I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use the London Fog Memento ink for this. And it doesn't have to be super accurate either. So I'm working on the outside edge of this. Coming across there, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it overlaps, really not important. It's more the effect that we're going for with this. Now, there we have it. And I'm also going to cut a couple of the centers at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to place this down. Now, here's that scalloped edge. I'm going to place it towards, somewhere towards the end of there. It doesn't really matter, you don't have to be that accurate. It's now always you, a stunning effect. You are getting three rectangular strip dies in this set, okay? So you're going to be able to make three different types of rosette or three different types of flower. Because they can be flowers if you want them to be put a stem they, on They them. can, absolutely, mm. yeah. You, if you take this one, for example, we were saying yesterday, if you do, if you do it red with a black centre, it becomes a poppy. If you do it yellow with a br dark brown centre, it becomes a sunflower. If you do it white with a yellow centre, it becomes a daisy. So, very, very versatile. Also, you can trim these to size uh, to make smaller or larger rosettes. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. We're limited stock on the rosette dies as well. We're not going to have anything left. I don't know what we're going to be doing at 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock today. So, Mum, um, I know I said I wouldn't be coming home for tea today, but I may, I may be, be back. For a late I may breakfast, be back. We're going at the moment. <laughs> uh, and that's what they make, by the way, just to show you. Cool, aren't they? But how you get to that point, we will show you. Now, I'm going to just ink the edges of these as well. Now. 
all ready to go. Vintage photo as well. Vintage photo, I like to just put this, it's a warm brown. We do have walnut stain, which, which is a darker, darker brown. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a very, very warm brown. We'll put those two together. I'll use some PVA for that. And the one in the center of the other. And you see how that's given it that lovely contrast, that vintage photo. Um, now, let's get back to this lovely uh, rosette die and find out exactly how it works. Of course, the perforations are in the middle of the die, and we just concertina it like so. Mm -hmm. So I'm just folding two at a time. Goes together perfectly. Oh, before I do that, actually, Joe, if I want to make this a smaller rosette, all I need to do is take a steel ruler and cut this edge off. Oh, right. And then I, g I can make it smaller and smaller and smaller so we can get oh, stacked. Can do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a re really neat effect. And that's, re we had a gift box. So remember we looked at the gift box a little earlier? Mm -hmm. That's, um, I've created that effect using the same die but actually making one rosette small and one normal size. So, there we have it. Now, to add a little contrast, while it's folded up like that, I'm going to take my vintage photo again and I'm going to come around that edge. It's the best way to do it when it's already folded up like this. Mm -hmm. So, I'll reach down for my glue gun. Uh, and I'll just... You can use double-sided tape, you can use PVA. Uh, I'm just using the glue gun for to save time. Uh, it's convenient now. And so it forms like a little crown. Yeah. And then to get the full effect, I've got I've got a piece of scrap card here. <coughs> I'm going to take my Sizzix scissors. These come from our kit, which is the paper sculpting kit. So they come together the tweezers and all the little tools and the sculpting mats as well. Actually, we've got the details of that. It's a really good toolkit to go for. Top quality if you'd like it. Um, and it's got the little uh, pokey tool in it. You've got your ball tools for shaping the flowers and the petals and the leaves and so on. There's, and you get two different mats. Uh, there's a picture of it there for you. So the, the turquoise mat, that's what you'd use for veining of leaves and so on, because it's, it's quite a rigid mat. But then you've also got the foam mat, which is great for your shaping. You get the scissors, the tweezers, perfect. Don't have much stock of that either. 23.39, freedom price. And that's the 432796 if you'd like to add that into your order today. And we actually bit the bit, missed the bit where I stuck oh, this down. But I did apply hot glue gun to this bit and I folded it in to create the rosette like that. It's fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, but we're not going to show it again because we don't think we're out of stock. Are we all, is it all allocated at the moment, this one? What it's a shame. Limited stock. If you limited want the rosette, guys. stock. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. So there we have it. Now. One more thing to do. I've cut this. This is just a piece of regular regular card. I've cut it into a chevron with my scissors at the end. I put some vintage photo in. Then what I'm going to do is just scrunch it up like this because I want it to look like an old piece of tattered ribbon. Um, and now you get a lovely piece of card. Sacrilege to many people this, but uh, not to me. <laughs> and I'm going to run the vintage photo. Down. That will pick out these creases. Mm -hmm. um, and strip of double-sided. Nice bit of alliteration there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is going to look like a legal document, isn't it? Or it like is a, a bit. A law or something. Uh, How cool is that? It's very official. Yes. We know that. Now fold that over the top. A bit of glue there just to keep that down. Actually, we're, we'll improvise. We'll take, because we're not going to see this, because it's going to be covered by the rosette, we'll take the stapler. There you go, where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing I wanted, now you can add, you can put a gem in the center of this, you can use some sort of stamped image. It doesn't really matter, it's entirely up to you. A um, couple of 3D foam pads there. And finally, finally, this is a photo of, of my grandmother, which I've used, which I've cropped using that uh, one of the smallest of the deckle edge frames, and I've put some double-sided on here. Now, I'm just going to bring that in there. Now, this was actually in the frame that, that we looked at up there. So you can mount this on, onto the largest size of deckle, of a uh, deckle edge, 
card as well. You know, you can mat and layer these. You can put it exactly how you want, where you want. That could go on a card. It could go in a frame. It could pretty much anywhere. But that, that rosette, it's, it's gorgeous to have that that's dimension, that yeah. popping out of your paper crafting. I love it. So that's a, a new grandma law that's been passed. It the, the official document. There we go. <laughs> now, if you want to have your machine, the big shot machine from Sizzix, uh, that was on the screen a few seconds ago. If you want the rosette dies, though, let's give you details of those. That's now gone. The last one's in someone's basket, so please check out if it's in your basket. Congratulations if you got that. Another sellout. How many sellouts is that? 277201 is out of here. There's about three sellouts in the last half an hour. Wow. Now, the big shot machine. Let's show you that. It's coming up for you in a minute, anyway. Um, it is the A4 machine. Now, this is the machine that is coming with lots of extras. You've got 14 dies, you've got fabric, you've got cardstock, you've got... Uh, there's the machine itself. Um, and it comes with all the plates that you need for your embossing and your die cutting, all that sort of thing. And you're also going to get, of course, lots of bonus goodies in there as well. And a £30 price reduction, too. This is the machine, like Pete said, it's kind of looking to the future because this will do all your uh, thinlet dies and your thin metal dies, all the different brands that are out there on the market but it will also do your bigs dies as well the ones that will do multiple layers of fabric that will do your gray board your cork your hesse and all that sort of thing so this will do both so if that's what you're after the having the versatility of being able to do both of those four two three eight eight five is your item number it is on flexi buy as well so 85 pounds today is all you pay plus your pmp and 85 pounds in four weeks time now the pocket frame is still available but Limited stock. You're loving the idea of this. The concept of this is great. It really is. You get the pocket frame die itself, which is that one there. But then all of these extra uh, symbols here, you can use. They're all dies. They're all individual dies. The arrows, the star, the pennant, the bunting. So you can decorate the pocket frames beautifully. And I love the idea of putting them maybe on little easels. We've got them on little easels here, just in front of me. And you can buy the easels on our website as well. I think Craft Buddy uh, bring you the easels. Aren't they lovely? They're really cute to have them maybe on the sideboard or on the desk at work. Really lovely. But equally, it's credit card size, so you can pop it in your purse if you want to put one in your purse. Pop it into your wallet as well. But it's just another way of, of displaying and having photographs that mean an awful lot to you around you. And make them more interesting for other people to look at as well. There are the dies that you're getting with it. So you get all those um, embellishment dies. And then the main die, of course, is what actually gives you that frame to put your pictures in. 417160. And, and I must admit, I, I take more photographs now and have more photographs than I've ever had before because I could never be bothered to take a camera with me uh, when I was out and about so I never used to kind of just take pictures for the sake of it now I've got my phone and my camera combined I'm always taking pictures left right center so great to uh, just kind of keep those memories and make them into three-dimensional pictures rather than just something that's a memory on your phone 417160 you write a number 10 pounds and 99 pence we then go to our Baroque frames. Now these are again from Tim Holtz, brand new. For matting and layering, these are perfect. They really are fantastic. And you get five of them for just £10.99. pence. So it's only about £1.20 each, something like that. 247313, you write a number. There's your portrait and there's your landscape. Works both ways for matting and layering. And again, for creating, uh, for creating inverted cards or pyramid style cards, perfect for that. Or just making a nice frame. £10.99, 247313 is your item number there for those. And just looking at some of these cards here that you can see, there they are uh, making tiles, which you can then stamp images onto. Um, you can, again, as I said before, use two of the dies to actually create a lovely um, fine frame. That would look gorgeous as well. So really useful dies to have. Just 10.99 is the price today. Nearly 60% of the stock of these is gone. From Tim, brand new today. All of them today while we've got the stock, because later we probably won't have the stock. Um, then we have... Our sidekick, which is basically this here. This is this is the pick and mix. If you wonder what sidekick is, it basically means the embossing folder and also, of course, the selection of dies. Now, there's a theme running through each set. So what you've got, depending on which one you go for, is a collection of dies and an embossing folder that matches it as well. And the idea is they all form a picture and a story. So we've got the birthday. We've got, uh, obviously, the love with the Valentine's Day. 
We've got the next one, which is springtime. So you've got the dye for the chick and the rabbit and the butterfly and that crisscross embossing folder. Summertime is the one with the Caribbean palm tree, the word play, the flip flops are really cute. I love, I love that. And then the travel one with the suitcase and the plane as well. Now, just to show you here, this is what the, uh, the guys have done uh, to, to give you an idea of how you can build a story. Rather than it just being uh, like a, 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 an image or a picture, it's actually like a three dimensional scene that you can build up with those dies and the embossing folder. I love the texture in the background. That's what the embossing folder brings you. Um, that one, I think, actually, I think that one has now overtaken it as my favourite. I, I did like that one earlier. I do still like that. I'll go for those two. Travel and, uh, and summertime with the flip-flops. Love it. And the word play. Lovely. Really upbeat. 17.98 then for any two. You choose which two you'd like. Uh, you can pick and mix it on the website, which is dead easy to do. We showed you that earlier on. Or failing that, if you'd rather get the operator to do it for you, just give them a call 01733 60 We'll get you through to our call centre and just tell them that you'd like springtime and travel or whatever two you'd like. Uh, really lovely idea. 459984. Now the website, what is in stock? What do we have left? We've we still got the Baroque, we've still got the pocket frame, that's still there, hanging on in there. The sidekicks are what I just showed you with the uh, embossing folder and the, and the dies. And the five-star reviewed machine you can see there, that's also still in stock. The Sizzix Big Shot with all those extra bonus goodies. That's every, everything you're getting, actually. I was talking about what you're getting as bonuses. You've got fabric in there, you've got the cardstock in there, you've got... Um, is there a big die included in that? I think there is, actually. Sure yeah, there's is. one big die. Yeah, there is. Look, wow. Um, and you're also getting your thinlet dies, uh, all the plates you need for your embossing and your die cutting. So, yeah, this is the machine that allows you to use the bigs and the thin dies and your embossing folders all in one. So, for an awful lot of you, that's the machine of choice. And it is available right now. Ten minutes left, Pete. Ten minutes left. Okay, this is, this is quite a long one. It takes about 12 minutes, but we're going to do it in eight. So, without further ado, let's make our cuts. I'm using the Baroque frames, and I'm also cutting some of the little elements from our birthday sidekick set. So... We're going to be showing the embossing folder as well. Now, you can see that's cut that one there. That's lovely. That's the other one. And, of course, these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little elements. I love this oh, balloon. the balloons. I know. It's so cute, isn't it? Yep. There we are. So it comes with all the different bits, even the little highlight on the balloon where it catches the light. So um, I'll take or oh, take the pen from my glue. I do have a die pick somewhere. But... Actually, if I just show you on the frame that I've just been handed, there's the highlight that Pete was talking about on the balloon. So it makes it very three-dimensional. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the idea of these. It takes the Tim Holtz brain to think these up, doesn't it? Sure does. Now, I'm taking away my big shot. We, we've got two different shims. We've got the A, and then we've got the base down here, which is where we do all our embossing. And, of course, it's all represented pictorially, so you don't have to worry about reading complex instructions, because it's all there for you. Now, I'm going to place that um, lovely Baroque decal in my th embossing folder here. Mm -hmm. Slip it back into the machine. And just run that through. That will give the lovely deep emboss that we're so accustomed to with the Sizzix folders. Let's get that out. They're cute little folders, aren't they? They're gorgeous. They really are. It's, you know, that was, that was solid to me. It just so fits in the palm of your hand. Yep. I also cut the word wish, which I'm going to use in a second. Um, when I say this takes about 12 minutes, it's almost, it's, it's like I, I time them back in where I don't. I don't. It's just... You go, you're going on instinct sometimes. But, but what I want to show with this, not only is the, how gorgeous the dies are, but there's a lovely little technique which I want to, which I want to bring in. Now, with the, um, with the screamer, I would normally use a steel, steel ruler, but I'm just going to cut across there using my scissors. So we're using my, my eye and my brain this morning. Not something I normally employ at 9 o'clock in the morning, but uh, <laughs> there we are. Um, so that's cut down to size, a couple of 3D foam pads, one at either end, like so. And this is going to be my phrase, which is going on the outside of a car. Thus. Right. Now the wish, the little wish, is going on top of that. So, so you, you can trim these down to, to, to fit. Uh, you could trim that in three colours, put them together. I've, I've used the... Uh, 
I've used the embossing folder on this one, obviously. So that's going to go. Now, the card, you can see, I put some ribbon around the outside, so we're going to tie this up in a moment. Um, get some PVA on the back of that. Now, bearing in mind we've had so many sellouts, you might be wondering what's going to be happening at one o'clock this afternoon. That makes three of us. Um, because sure uh, our team are on it, and there's going to be a surprise, I think, of Ooh, some sort. It's a More, surprise for me as well. <laughs> yeah, and me. I don't know what it is, but something, they've got something up their sleeve at good, one. Good, so good. We will be back with you at one o'clock. Now, you see this one? This is the Baroque... Um, one of the stacked Baroque dies. I'm actually going to fold this in half, and then I'm going to make a cut into the center like that. So that's a double cut. I'm going to fold this back in on itself, like so. And I'm going to make another cut. It's just by here. Right. You're intrigued, aren't you? Mm. What's going on there? Why is he ruining that lovely Baroque folder? Now, what we've got, what we now have, oh. is a pop-up center onto which I can attach my little die cuts. Now, we've got the party hat. Oops, this surprises here. you. I know, I know, I love it, I love it, I really do. It's, um, it's part of the fun. It keeps it interesting for you, keeps it interesting for me. Hopefully, it keeps it interesting for our viewers at home. I'm so sure. that is there. Now, I've just got to reach down here, Dave, because I've lost my birthday cake. Oh, woe is me. Um, what, the die or the die cut? No, I've actually lost the die cut. I made one other. Oh, just, just when you think you've thought of everything. We, could, can we, we can imagine, we can actually go to the sample on this one afterwards, can't we? Yeah, we can. Let's pop these lovely balloons. One with a 3D foam pan. How are we, do, how are we doing for time? Uh, this, this is exciting. We've got about three minutes. Three Ish. minutes. There we are. We're going to put one of these in the background using a foam pad to get a bit of dimension. Now, we, we did anticipate that these would be very, very popular, but we didn't quite anticipate they'd sell out so quickly. Um, so apologies if you've missed out on the one day special, but I will remind you of what's still in stock before we go at uh, 10 o'clock. So here we are. So the third of them, I'm just going to slip just underneath that purple balloon there. And my phrase, which just simply says, happy, happy, happy. Now, can I ask you a huge favor, Dave? Of course you can. Remember, right at the end of the counter, we have the sample for this dye, so we can show everybody the cake. Uh, yep, would would, you, would you mind awfully grabbing that for me? Yep. There we go. It was a bit easier than the frame we were looking for yesterday. <laughs> yes. So we've got this. I've glued top and base. That's going to slip in there. We simply close the card up and then tie the ribbon. Now, because I didn't remember my cake, this is what we've just done. The balloon we cut earlier, you can see I've added that to the front of my sample. Then when we open this up, there she blows. There's the Love little it. cake. I do, oh, it's killing me, that cake. It's only uh, ages to me. What a great invitation, though, that would be, wouldn't it? It sure would. Um, very simple to do. The pop-up center, you know, very, very, very straightforward, but gorgeous little dice. And look how well they work together. And that's what I love about Tim. Everything is thought out. Everything makes perfect sense. Okay, wonderful. Big question. What is there still available to buy? What's still in stock? Okay, we can still let you have the Baroque dice. They're brand new. They launched yesterday. Uh, what was the update on the stock on these? 1099, 247-313. 60% of that has gone, though. They are, actually, for Tim Holtz, they're quite traditional, those. They're quite um, regal-looking, aren't they? Those, those, Indeed they are, yeah. Those frames. Yeah. But uh, you can mat and layer with them brilliantly, make wonderful frames with them as well. Inverted cards, pyramid-style cards, all achievable when you've got these. Five thinlets, 247313, £10.99. And we also still have these really cute pocket frames, but they are now limited stock for the pocket frames. So that's probably going to be a sellout before we get to the one o'clock show. I would have thought. You've got the die to make the frame at the top of the picture, and then underneath it, all those arrows and so on there, little embellishment dies that you can, of course, decorate the frame with as well. £10.99, limited stock for that one, 417160. Now, the sidekicks, these are very, very popular as well. It's a, a great concept because you get a selection of dies. If I just hold this one up, for example, you get a selection of dies, and you also, of course, get uh, the fantastic embossing folder as well. So the dies, as you can see there, relate to the theme. You've got the globe, you've got the suitcase, you've got the plane and the word, uh, what does that say? Seek. Yes, that says seek. And then you've, all, of course, got that uh, little ditty embossing folder to do the backgrounds. But what they do is they make like a, an artist trading card size picture that tells a story, don't they? 
Indeed, yeah, yeah, a perfect for ATCs. Of course, that's something I didn't even mention. ATCs, mm. they're so versatile, I forgot one of their most obvious uh, Well, they come back in, in fashion again, haven't they? They're ATCs, back again, yeah. and, and I'm so glad that they didn't, they caught on for a little while, but then they went away, but they're back, and I love them. I love the concept of ATCs. I do too, and I love that little flip-flop uh, die. I think that's really the cutest yeah, of all. Yeah, we like that flip-flop, yeah. don't we? We do. And actually, we've used the deckled edge as well, so if you've managed to get the deckled edge dies, they did sell out, but if you managed to get those, they're the perfect background, really, to put these... Uh, little dies and the embossing folder on as well so you choose which you'd like the first one up the top there is travel that is spring beneath it is summer I think yeah. uh, then we've got we don't do that we don't have the America one we've got uh, the love for Valentine's Day and we've also got the birthday there as well 17 pound 98 pence it's a pick and mix now you can do that on the website hachanda.com select to check out that will then take that price down from 21.98 to 17 pounds 98 pence and then of course if you're a freedom member that's all you pay otherwise it's plus P and P. Uh, but yeah, you can have four of them if you want, and then that will be, what would that be, about 30, 36, 96, I think, something like that. 35, 96 it would be if you wanted uh, four of them. 459984. Pete and I were going to be back at one o'clock. We're not sure exactly with what yet, but there will be a surprise. They're busy in the office, on the phones, working out something that we can bring you uh, by way of saying sorry that the one day special sold out so yeah. early. Okay, have a great morning. There's lots of great shows to look forward to. We'll see you at one o'clock for lunch. Hopefully that's a date. See you then, Pete. See you then. Bye. See you later. So yes, hand stitching with Wonderful. That's on the way in just a second. Now, Leone's got the day off today, so we're letting Leslie loose with Ink School coming up in an hour. And the Spectrum Noir Art Liner, the hour after. from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops, and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda.
Hello, good morning. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, it's 10 a.m. live, and we had a show this morning at 7 a.m. with Angela Jamin, and we were talking about the wonderful, wonderful threads from Wonderful, which is the first show where Wonderful we've managed to focus on the wonderful threads it from. It is, yes, it? yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's a big, big name. You, you taught us so much in the first hour, Angela, but to those that didn't see it, just give us a brief rundown then of, of Wonderful. Did you say it's 30 years? Of, of it history, is, yeah. Right? They yeah. first started in 1998, and in that time, they've really perfected all they know about threads. And they do a huge range of threads, cotton threads, rayon yeah. threads, from a really thick perlay thread to a very, very fine hundredweight invisible thread. And actually yeah. they've really got um, the sewers, the stitchers, needs at heart because this yeah. thread behaves itself beautifully. And that's what you want in a project, isn't it? Yeah. To have a thread that works, that you're not... Yeah tangling with every stitch or things like that. Yeah, a thread that does what it says, literally on the spool or the box, um, yeah. but also that doesn't damage your machine necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and that looks and beautiful, little, that yeah. washes beautifully, that's colour fast, yeah. all of those things. Yeah, all those things that you want for your future projects. These are projects that are going to last for years now, but also for generations yeah. to come with certain quilts and projects that you know you're going to want to keep in the family. Um, we've got several different designs, uh, well, several different colourways of thread and, and weights of thread as well um, on the show. If you want to jump ahead of us on the website, you can do. We're very keen to get stitching as soon as possible, though, so we're not going to show you everything at the start of the show, mm. but we will start by showing the confetti very quickly, yes, won't we, we uh, here, Angela? Um, tell us more. What do we have with the confetti? Right, confetti is a 50-weight cotton thread, yeah. and these collections have been put together, and you have eight spools of thread in there, mm -hmm. and each one has 500 metres of thread in it. Yeah. So actually what you're getting is 2,000 metres of thread. Yeah. And it's a 50-weight cotton thread, so it's a thread that you could use in your machine, you can mm -hmm. use it for hand stitching, you can use it for piecing, mm -hmm. hand quilting, hand embroidery, there's so much you can actually do with this thread. So even though our show is hand stitching, it's, it's not limited at all to that, which we know from our earlier show at seven, that anyone just sort of watching with half an ear, half an eye this morning, um, it's, it's, it's for your machine and for hand stitching either yes, way. Yes, yeah. yeah, and we've got the machine out and I'm going to show yeah. some um, how you'd use this on the machine later. Absolutely. Um, so the confetti thread here, a 50 weight, uh, Egyptian cotton as well, um, a really good strength and wonderful yeah. colours. Um, I'll just run you through the colour options as well. We've got Spectrum up at the top for the spectrum of the uh, lovely rainbow. Um, over this way, you've got the sand and sea glass uh, colours. Um, over here, we've got the... Uh, oh, how did I forget this? It's the velvet, the, the, um, the, the, the wonderful shaded velvet. And for me, that's like the vintage colours, the shaded it's velvet beautiful, there. That um, and then over this way, you've got the uh, iced pastels. There's a very, very pure the blues and the lovely baby pinks there in the ice pastels and down below I definitely won't forget that because that's forest floor and we demonstrated with that in this chart. We are, yes. Yeah, yeah forest floor is lovely shades of green. Um, so lots to choose from there 786-337 to order uh, now and it's a saving of five pounds um, while you take advantage of that introductory price as well. Um, and then earlier on we saw uh, the spaghetti we demonstrated with this I believe we did, did we yes. not at, this, at the time. This was the seven o'clock show we're talking about if you want to catch it on rewind which is our catch up um, service. Um, have I remembered right if I say 12 weight? We have, yeah, 12 weight Phew, perlay. Okay. okay, so 12 weight. <laughs> so it's still a cotton and a perlay means it's a non-divisible thread. So, yeah, people might be used to using the stranded cousins where you get six and yeah, you pull them for apart. Embroidery, you embroidery, take embroidery yes. Yeah. This one is a non-divisible, so you use it as it comes off. Okay. And this is fabulous for hand or machine stitching. I yeah. do both with it. It's a little bit heavier, so whatever you stitch in, this is going to pop out. Okay. So, you know, you can use your thread to give perspective to your work. So, you know, things stitched in this will really, really show up nicely. And you can use this for top stitching, embellishing. You can use all your fancy stitches on your sewing machine with yeah. this thread and really make something, make it highlighted. That's a good thing to promise. It's to say you use those stitches that you don't normally yeah. use on your sewing machine, so unlock all that potential. Mm. Um, you've got your different colours to choose from as well. Um, so you've got your neutrals up at the top here with those uh, wonderful sort of earthy colours. That's neutrals. Down below that, one of my favourites, that's tropics there. You hear with the tropical birds and the, the feathers and the jungle mm. residency you can think of there, that's Tropics uh, just there. Over here we've got Jewels, now that's really, really close to the uh, shaded, uh, the, the, the sort of vintage colours from uh, that last set, the shaded velvet, but vintage tones uh, there, just a sort of muted uh, tone to them. Um, and I'm just going to remind myself down here on these colours, that's the brights over this way. So I always get the two muddled up and I don't want to tell you which one's which, because they're both quite they're both quite bright in their own way, and the other one's the garden. So I need yeah. to remember the garden, uh, you know, has that lovely dark wine purple in it, that sort of garnety colour. Uh, so we've got garden and then the brights was that one just before.
four that we saw just there. So you've got uh, five different choices on there, and it's five four five one six eight six to order now. And then the last type of thread that we'll look at before we get stitching is the Fabulux as well. Tell us what we have here, please, then, Angela. Right, these are gorgeous. Now, this is um, a rayon thread, a, a polyester thread, so it's not a cotton, but it's beautiful for hand, sti um, hand quilting, yeah. machine quilting, machine embroidery so if you have a machine in, um, an embroidery machine mm -hmm. again you know you could highlight and use all those stitches on your sewing machine that you never ever use in this thread mm. and most of this collection is variegated right. the only one that isn't is the neons okay. so all of the others are variegated okay yeah we saw a lovely close up there of all you saw that didn't you the variegation in them all those colors there when we were last on that and now as you can see from the distance so the neons are the ones just down here they were very popular this morning actually the neons that's the only one that's not variegated and apart from that uh, they all are you've got your royal um, up at the top here um, and those that might say you know because we can see on the packaging there you can see it's the 48 poly Yes. Um, as well. Um, those that say, well, hang on a minute, you had 100% Egyptian cotton before, now it's polyester. What, what, what would you say uh, to, to those people thinking about a polyester thread or otherwise? This is for embellishing and top mm -hmm. stitching. I wouldn't sew any seams with this one. Yeah. So, you know, quilters, if you're quilting seam, joining two pieces of fabric together, I would do that mm -hmm. in cotton. Mm -hmm. This is your kind of, it's called Fabulous, and this is for giving your projects a bit of panaz a bit of yeah. you know making them look fabulous yeah other, other than the structure it's the it's the look it's the sprinkling it on is. the cake as yes it, as yeah. it, as yeah. it were. because um, I've got some samples back in the demonstration area yeah. and I think the camera can just about pick up it's got a real shine on it yeah yeah we'll shine and off again. yes yeah and I'm yeah. going to be doing some blanket stitching around a butterfly okay. in one of these as well all right so we'll get a much better look at them later on okay so you've yeah. got your different colors here um tropical up at the top uh, here on the top right as you're looking at them there the tropical is there they're all variegated now apart from the neon that's royal um just beneath that we've got the party hats these are lovely names tranquility we've got a, a lovely demonstration uh, piece in the tranquility over uh, the demonstration area um, and then just down here, uh, you've got, if I just remind myself, baby blanket just there. Underneath that, you've got the neon. And then over here, you have you have celebration. And then last but not least, it's neutrals there for you, all in the Fabulux. 449824 is your item number. And they are saving three pounds off uh, at 28.99. Um, do, do you know what? I, actually, Angela, should we very, very quickly look um, here uh, at our next yes, item? Yes, It's uh, the lovely uh, Invisifil. Um, so, it does what it says on the box, isn't it? It, it does. It's yeah. invisible. Yeah, because this is the thinnest thread weight they do, so it's the 100 weight thread. Right. And it just is so fine, you can actually, it just disappears into the fabric. Yeah. So I talked briefly about using your threads, using your thicker threads to kind mm. of like make some areas pop out. This is a thread you can use to make your quilting or your stitching fade away into the background. Yeah. So again, we've got some examples of this, and there's a wonderful colour palette for these threads. And you get six in a little pack. Yes. And, you know, I've used this in the machine, I've used this by hand, and it just works brilliantly. It's really good for anybody who likes English paper piecing. Mm -hmm. So we demonstrated that at, in did. the 7 o'clock programme. We did it about, about quarter to eight, it was, by the time we went on to that. Yeah. that yeah. Eight? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was towards Gosh. the end. I'm sure it was towards the end yes, when we painted yeah. these, yeah. But, you know, if you're somebody who likes that, if you're somebody that likes to do a lot of applique, either by hand or yeah. by sew machine, this is a really lovely thin thread that just melts those stitches away into the background. Okay, so the right thread for the right job, whereas the spaghetti was a 12 weight, uh, where it's uh, making your image pop, you're drawing with your thread um, mm -hmm. or painting with it. Um, this is it melting into the background, the Invisifil. Um, and you've got uh, lots of different choices. You've got two, four, six, eight, ten different choices. Mm -hmm. um, we'll run through them later when we get a chance, but you can see your colours there. 16.99 plus delivery, uh, and it's 458218 to get a closer look at the different colours. Um, if you are looking to order in specifics. Um, yeah, on the website, you'll see everything. It's hochanda.com. Um, you've got all of the threads. And on the inside of the packaging, Angela showed us earlier, we'll try and show you again, um, but it's got a reminder of what each thread's useful for, the sort of projects, um, the sort of needles you'll use, um, hand stitching, machine stitching, things like that. So on the inside of the box, you've got a cut out and keep guide. Um, you've also got the thread table we're going to be demonstrating with that today and the Sizzix Bigs dies also as well as the Daylight Company's yo-yo lamp and all the other lamps that were brought to us by the Daylight Company. Mm. That's all on hochanda.com so you can have a look on there, you can watch us live and order on the website uh, as well.
And if, it, if my microphone ever goes quiet, it's just because I'm having a good old cough here in the studio. I've got a really tickly cough that, uh, that just won't go away. Um, so, yes, um, Angela, what did you want to talk about first of all? It's the web, uh, the, web the thread tamer, uh, yes. isn't it? Yep, the thread tamer. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, there's so many lovely threads out and about that we want to use. And some machines just sort of get a go a bit like, mm, not sure. Yeah. So Wonderful designed this wonderful bit of kit which literally tames your threads. And I wanted to talk people through how it comes out of the box. Okay. Because when it comes out of the box, you have this piece of perspex here, and it's angled, which helps with the tension of your sewing machine. And what there are, there are three slots down here. Okay, we're just picking it up so just there. There we go. So just there, yeah. So there are three slots in the bottom. So for those people who do embroidery who couch threads, so couching is when you lay thread on top, a thicker thread on top of your work, mm -hmm. and you couch it down by stitching across it. Okay. So if you're doing something like that, it's perfect for doing things like that. Okay. And so you get this in the box. You also get four little clear perspex pins. Yeah. So you get four of those. And you get this extender as well. So this here just simply pops on the top. Because, you know, this means that with your sewing machine, you want your thread to be coming into your machine just above it. So this here means that you've got three four slots in so here. Yeah, so that's the top of the machine, so everything's above. One, yes, two, yeah, three, so four. it's not going to tangle or anything like that. And if I just turn it back around towards the camera, you can see there are three slots in here that are for three spools of thread that you can just pop your pins in like that because this allows the thread to come off the top of them yeah. because my sewing machine here has got a side feeder so the thread yeah. goes on set would go on sideways like so okay. and for a thread like this this would just ping off really really easily so by putting this onto a spool like that and by bringing it up through, I'm looking at my sewing machine now, probably that one here. This is going to make you know things what, Matt, so I'm much easier. Put my glasses on. So much neater. I'm only making a hash because I've not got my glasses on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the number of uh, complaints we have about the wrong glasses and yes, the right, yeah, yeah. where have I left so, them? <laughs> turn that back round again to camera. So this now, it's on the back of the thread tamer, yeah. it's coming up, it's coming through the little tension pin here, yeah. and then I would thread my sewing machine normally. Right. So this then I would follow the sort of S-shape yeah. guide that most people do, that most people are familiar with yeah. getting into it. Now, sometimes, especially for metallic threads with the smaller bobbins, you might want them to feed horizontally. Okay. So you have a little bit of perspex here, and this just fits on the side. So what I'm going to do... Wonderful, I've got it all covered in yes, yeah. yeah, and I'm going to put it like that. Oh, that's so clever, so just slide I've down. I've purposely yeah. done it upside down. OK. Because if you can see here, it's, it's not straight. Can you see? Y yeah. So you don't want it to be not straight. So you can see there, it's sort of angled downwards. Mm. So what you want to do when you put it on is make sure there that it's so straight like way. that. Okay. That's the way. And sometimes it's easier to show people it's wrong, it's wrong because way. it doesn't feed properly. Yeah. And again, you, your little pin goes in here. In and on, yes. So, so you've got a space a here this, yeah. for going in, you know, for those smaller little spools of thread, yeah. it can go onto there. And again, it can feed through. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The difference it makes is unbelievable, actually. You, you don't realise it until... I didn't realise it until I started using it. Yeah. Especially when you're using, you know, the lovely Fabulux threads and things like that. Mm. It makes such a difference. Yeah, you can see it already, can't you? You can see how easy this is going to make things and how neat it's going to make it as well. Yes. So, yeah. So, sort of I'm going to take this neon colour off a minute. Because it is, I'm going to put the thread tamer back there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the sewing machine forwards. Like so. Got it. And I'm going to hold my thread, and I'm going to ask, there we go, yeah. so the thread needs to go through here. Do you need me to do anything? Do yes, so if you put it on that back pin there, so yeah. I'm just going to do this, and as, as you can see, this really isn't a one I prepared earlier. No. There we go, so that is going to sit, going through there now, and I'm just going to thread my sewing machine as normal okay and most people will be familiar with how their machine goes but of course you know it's doing it 
live, making okay. sure that it all works. And of course, having four different colours. Is, is that four that you can have, or is that a fifth one there? No, no, yeah. No, they so just, it's four different colours. Yeah, so you could have this hole here. Yeah. It depends on your, on your sewing machine that you're using. Or as well, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. So I'm just going to thread this up, and whilst I'm doing that, we talked about the 12 weight spaghetti, didn't we? Yes, and yeah, 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 I, the heaviest weight. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and I showed how I hand stitched with it mm. this morning, didn't I? And there were some mm. hearts behind you where I have free machine quilted. Right. So I don't want people to be put off by these sticker threads thinking you can't put them through the sewing machine. Okay. You just need to have a big thick needle, so yep. probably a hundred needles, something like that, and mm -hmm. an embroidery needle. So just what you need like, for, for using the thicker, yes, thicker thread. Yeah. Um, which one did you want to talk about? It was the hearts, wasn't it? Um, it was and the... that's where we've got all of the colours from the one set, actually. So here they are yes. now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they really do pop out. And did you also tell us that you've used the Invisifil in the background? So I you've did. just got the quality design, but no exactly. thread. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all done in the brights, in the um, spaghetti, in the 12 weight brights. Mm -hmm and the background white is in the Invisifil. Okay. So you can see I just wanted those hearts to stand out yeah. and kind of be the star of the show really. Uh, they do, they do, very nice. They do. Very nice stuff. And I've managed to thread my machine. Yeah, you get some good work. <laughs> so these are really good for um, machine applique and things yeah. like this. And what I've got here is I've got a butterfly which I have fused to my background fabric and I'm just going to do a very quick little zig, um, blanket stitch around it just to show you what this thread does. Now this one here okay. is from this collection. So you're using one of the uh, yep. Fabulux aren't you? So have, you are yes. in the... I am using the... this is royal robes I'm using royal now. Royal robes, alright And you can see just how rich the rest of that collection is. Royal robes. Let me see which one that's from. I, then. I think it could be from the one um, I've got. I think it's from the royal, royal the royal collection. Yeah, yes, majestic yeah. sunrise, royal robes, uh, proclamation, joust. I know somebody that jousts. Actually, it's pretty random, isn't it? Because he, actual <laughs> jousting. Yeah. Um, whenever you see anyone jousting on the TV, it's probably him. Um, and then bullseye. So that's uh, that's the royal option um, there. Um, yeah, the, yeah, and you know, it's just a lovely variegated colour. And sometimes when you see them in the box like that, they just look so lovely. Yeah, this and is the rest of them. They are so colourful, aren't they? They are. And if you want to just pop those heads out again, you can see yeah. the information because I think we looked at the um, confetti yeah, box it, this morning. Right around, and if you take yeah. those all out and I start to sew, you yeah, can see yeah. all that information about the Fabulux is actually in there. Yeah. So there's all the tips of what you can do needles and things like that yeah very importantly that's in the packaging of all of them all of the threads that we're getting today isn't it yes, so yeah, it, it will is. whichever set that we're going for you've got your tips uh you've got what they might be applied for as well so it says you use fabulux for domestic machine sewing uh long arm and mid arm uh, mm. multi-directional sewing quilting outlining and embroidery so lots of applications yes, there yeah. actually um for it and the long arm and the mid arm these days is quite an important consideration because if people mm. have those machines they stitch at a higher rate. They do more stitches per minute than others. Mm. So this is a thread that's going to cope with going up and down very quickly in okay. the sewing machine. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to give is just a little blanket stitch. So I've got the thread on the thread tamer coming up and threading into the sewing machine. And I'm going to find my foot pedal, which is here. And I've just put this on a very basic blanket stitch on my machine. So I'm just going to start on the wing and because it's a blanket stitch it takes a little bit of time because the machine goes back in two but what i'm hoping to do is just do a few stitches and just get a color change and then i'll take it off the machine so you can see the actual color change that's happening yeah quite a few people with untamed threads at the moment at home yeah. and, uh, they won't remain untamed for long because it quite a number so of people have got their threads tamed. I mean, I'm not ashamed to say that before this I would get so frustrated. Right. I think we're going from purple to blue. But just picking up greens, I'll just take this up in a moment. This is a proper peacock vari variation in, uh, in colours. Royal robes, love it. Right, okay. I'm going to take it off there now because you can see we've just started to get that variation. So I'll give it to you in that. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to actually. hold it up. Um, you should be yeah, able to where see. are we looking? Uh, okay, there. Can you see? I've just yeah. done a very, very small amount but in this just fabulous. There. But what you can see is the thread is just starting to change. Mm. So you've just got a very slight colour variation there. 
it's not so quite gone into green, but you can see that real decorative edge that this thread can give you. Yeah, definitely. So we're, we're looking at dark blue, purple, and then it will become green then um, as you go, or, or, or the other way around, actually. My eyes are playing tricks on me. There's the green. And there's a lovely shine to it as well. So yes, you see the variegation yeah. there. Yep, the very, very uh, close-up camera work. Um, yeah, so you would keep going. So you've snipped it, haven't you? Yeah, good, I'm not pulling it. Even no, no, far. I have snipped yeah. it to show you. <laughs> good, yes, good. Yes. I didn't want to be dragging that away from yeah. the machine. And, you know, I just did a little sample down here. Oh, yeah, go on, and show that as well. that just shows... This was just me having a look at my tension, but it just shows very oh, tiny yeah. one, and you can just see, it, again, go. the difference in colour variation. There you go, you can see how that's... Because it's one thing to see it on the spool, but... Uh, if I hold that there, you might get a better view. One thing to see it on the spool or straight out in the thread, but actually to see it on the finished project, you can see that, that variation in colour. There you go, it's a great view of it there. And I talk a lot in my work, and I teach a lot of people as well, about mm. auditioning your threads. Right. And what I say is, um, for example, we've got this one here, which is from the Tranquility set. Yeah, God, so I'll give you that back from we... now. So, to Tranquility, if I move this... So if you move this... I think I know where you're going here with this. Yeah. You just lay it on, on your work. So, actually, we've just flipped that one over a minute, Matt, Oh, yeah. Because so, it's like a spotty backing. So, yeah. we've used the back a minute. There you go. Okay. And what I mean by auditioning is if you're going to quilt something, you can just lay your thread out and just lay it on top and see how it looks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you get an so idea. So, sort of that's the green. Is that going to stand there? Yeah, it will. For example, you could do it with this really bright zingy orange yeah, zingy so you can yeah. lay your thread on it and just have a look what is what's happening yeah how's it going to work how's and then if i spin that over um you'll see the finished results of uh, the tranquility set so that lovely variegated green um for example the lemon yellows and oranges mm. sort of marigold um colors um yeah it depends what stands out the best and whether you want it to stand out and, and what sort of pattern you want to build yes, as yeah, well it does yeah, yeah. And sometimes I find that if people are new to free machine quilting, they want their stitches to kind of hide in the background a little bit. And when they get really good, they want them to show mm. and they want them to be really zingy and yeah. you can show off. Yeah, show <laughs> exactly. Show off your work. Make yes, it stand yeah. out. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The right thread for the right job. We're learning a lot here uh, this morning. Yeah, yeah. From it, it worked really, really well. Mm. And, you know, I know the neons have been really popular. Oh, yeah, hugely, hugely popular. I've got popular. a little sample here that I'm going to stitch on with the neons. You wait until you see this. Now, this is I'm going to take right. the tape off. There you go. What was the tape there? As a guide, was As it? As a guide, a, a, just to keep space. straight lines, yes. So okay. you have a look at those, and I'm going to change this. my thread in a minute. So if you've got hold of the neons, are you going to be working with a darker fabric, a black background? They really do pop, yes, don't they, yeah. on, on that And that's, I think it's a really good way of trying out threads. So you've got, you know, as you say, you've got a black, you've got a grey, and you've got a white on there as well. What a difference. What a brilliant sample piece to hold up to show what you can get, that how the thread changes with, with the different backdrop yes, of colour. Yeah. The white, the mid-grey and the black, uh, they're great effect. You see, because there, it's actually more subtle than you'd think. It's a, you know, you could mix that with your florals on the white fabric. Yes, The yeah. neon is not such of a shock, is it? It's not, and you would think, or certainly I thought when I started, before I started playing with these, yeah. that they're going to be bright on whatever fabric you put them on, they're going yeah. to be really zingy, and actually they're not. I mean, look, that's your excuse for saying, oh, that's going to be bright, but, you know, or, or the hot pink down here, or the fluorescent yellow, um, but actually, yeah, working with the white, the grey and the black. Oh, is this quite inspiring? Have you got an idea of what you're going to be using particular threads for, potentially? Um, so maybe no idea that you'd be getting hold of the neon threads today. You're thinking, oh, now I've seen them on there. I might have a little go with those. And yeah. yeah, great result. And also with these neon, well, with any threads, really, they look a much darker colour on the spool than they do in real life. Yeah. For example, if you look at the yellow from the tran Tranquility range, yeah. which is just in front these of you. These are the Fabulux, yeah. Yeah, that's the Fabulux Very again. Gated. Again, you know, it's quite a deeper yellow on the spool than it is when I've quilted with it in front of you. Yeah, very true. You can, and you can see that with the example just in front here. So these are the Fabulux threads that we're talking about at the moment. Details are on the left-hand side of the screen. You get five spools in each, and they're all variegated apart from the neon colours. So the neon pack, because you wouldn't want them variegated necessarily. They're a nice punch of colour. Okay. Um, so those are the Fabulux as well, but that's the neon option up there. Um, and the rest of the options are variegated, and they've got uh, colourways such as Party Hat, uh, which is the one just beneath, Celebration, uh, and also uh, Tranquility, as well as Baby Blanket. Have a look on the website um, to see all the different colours, and we'll try and show you them again before the time's up as well. Um, so we'll keep you posted on it. Um, Angela, what was, uh, what was the thing that you wanted to show us next? I am just changing my foot. So oh, okay. I am putting a free machining foot on my machine. 
but I think that some people think I'm sad because I just think they look so lovely just as ornaments in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to use them, you want to stroke them sometimes. <laughs> Same with everything, isn't it? Same with everything. It um, is. And the uh, thread tamer here that's come in so, so yep. useful. Is so uh, your uh, sewing room uh, and craft room a different place now with the... Uh, uh, with the thread tamer? It is, yes. Yeah. Well, it is now I want a thread tamer for everywhere I stitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, there you go. I've, so I've put this foot on. So I've got the blue yarn again coming up through the thread tamer and down onto the area I'm going to work on. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you what the blue is like on this. Yeah. Because I think it's really interesting because you picked up on how different they look yeah. across those colours. Yeah, really and, do. you know, they can highlight things as well, because I'm going to come on to thread sketching and drawing with your sewing machine. Right. And just a little pop of extra colour can really lift a project. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do just a little bit of a wiggle down all three colours, just so we have a look. Okay. And so you've gone three motion. So I've gone three motion, yep. So my three dogs effect. are down. They weren't down, but they, they are yeah. down now. <laughs> Because you want to be free. It's those, the pressure. Those that are brand new to their <laughs> stitching take the feed dogs down because yes, you yeah. don't want it being dragged and through. You want to feed them. Yeah. One of the reasons I'm doing this is to say to people, don't be scared. Yeah. You know, you've just got to have the confidence to go for it and it will work. Yeah. And it's like writing. It takes us time to write. And mm. this is the same thing. It's it's a muscle action and just go for it. Don't be scared. Yeah. Mm. So, you. you know, foot here. Yeah needle down so my tip is if you have a needle down position make it go down right. okay and I'm just going to move it slightly like that and I'm going to hold it without gloves firmly yeah, okay. and I'm just going to wiggle okay? okay there we go just keep your eyes there and look for what we're looking at as well yep and you're going to have to help me. So if my hands get in the way, Matt, you'll have to tell me and I'll okay. reposition. There we go. Right, I think that's you. better, isn't it? There we go. Thank you. Very I can't good. look in two places, so... No, you can't. No, no. <laughs> so, there we go. So I'm just moving it round. And I'm in control here. So you can see that thread is lying really, really smooth. It's not bunching up. It's not knotting. It's just behaving so beautifully. I'm just going to reposition my hands to get onto the grey. And this is the 40 weight as well. This is the well, 40 so we weight. So nice smooth one. And I just want to just part the lead along the black. I'm just moving my hands again. That's not onto the grey fabric. And actually, a lot of the books say when you stipple, you shouldn't cross over your lines. Yeah. And when I started this sample, I thought, actually, I like it with a few yeah. colours. Yeah, you know, good. why shouldn't we break our lines and just do lots of colours? Yeah, there's no reason. Run and go not. for a quilt. There you go. Absolutely no reason. It looks, so if looks I just fantastic. stop there, that's it, and put it away from the machine. And you can see how much thread, I know it's an obvious point, but you can see how much thread we've got. We're only using a, a relatively so small amount per that. project. Yeah. And then you can just see we've just added that brilliant electric blue. Yes, it's a very, very and vibrant colour. Again, isn't it? you know, the difference in that colour now between the three layers of difference in fabric yeah. is pretty amazing. You're very strong on the black, uh, slightly more muted on the grey, but still looking good, especially with the uh, uh, stronger, bolder stitch lines. And then on the white here, um, not as shocking and as obvious as you'd expect, but still standing out, you know, still a very bold and a 40 weight as well. Yes, yeah. And so, so strong enough to stand out, but, uh, but uh, you know, not, um, not like the 12, uh, which you've been no. drawing and painting with earlier. Because, you know, the 12 is very thick. Yeah. So, you know, here I've got a relatively small needle. My needle mm. is a 70. Mm. So you wouldn't do that with a 70 with a 12 weight thread yeah. you have to change the needle and your stitch size as yeah. well yeah. if you're doing straight stitching with it but you yeah. can use them and machines will take them absolutely all right okay lovely stuff Angela we're, uh, okay. we're learning a lot we have we were on at <laughs> 7 a.m this morning um do you keep going Angela what else do you want to show us maybe, maybe well, um, in fact what shall we when we say keep going what do we mean should we stick I'm with the neon or no. what should we do I'm actually going to move on to okay. the um you're promising this the confetti yeah. so if I just put that there yeah, look at these 
Look so at I'm these. going to move on to, and I love this set. This is the forest forest floor. Yes, the forest floor of the confetti. Yeah. Um, so it, let me see if I can remember. Was it a 50 weight for the confetti? It is, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a 50 weight. Okay, so a similar weight to the one we've just been using, which was a 40. However, the confetti is 100% cotton, uh, as opposed to the decorative polyester um, that we've been using. Um, and the most popular on the confetti is... Uh, oh, the spaghetti option, actually, the spaghetti, um, uh, uh, which is the 12 weight, right? It is, yes. It's all staying in just about. Amazing stuff. That's brilliant. <laughs> just about. Um, so this is the wonderful, wonderful colours uh, of the leaves, just uh, that, that remembrance of the forest floor, uh, the colours of autumn, the colours of leaf drop, um, to get those gorgeous, gorgeous greens and olives, as well as this, this warm brown, um, as well as this warm caramel colour as well over here, and this cool green, a bluey green, in the centre and may we just have a look underneath yes there is so if I take all of these spools out for now um, you'll see that you've got tips on applications what you would use your thread for and um, the spool position um, a little quick uh, description of what it is so confetti is a 50 weight Egyptian cotton um, and then over here uh, your needle sizes that would be recommended uh, on your uh, on, on your machine uh, two. So yeah, let's see it go, uh, Angela. Are we ready to rock and roll with we our are, forest floor? I think floor. I need the brownie colour, which is in your left hand at this the one? moment. That's okay, the one, yes. there you go. So what I've Good got choice. here... Good choice. lovely warm colour you've got there. I do a lot of natural dyeing, yeah. and I actually use the Sizzix dye to cut out these leaf shapes on oh, here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put that there and talk about that just while I'm threading the machines. Okay. So what I've got there is I've got some background fabric that I dyed with tulips. So that bluey, greeny, yellowy fabric on the background is actually dyed with tulips. Mm, wow, actual tulips. Actual tulips. Real, real colour. Yes. What a lovely, lovely technique. And because I've started to thread paint this, which is using your thread to draw with, the branch was actually dyed with walnuts, but I have oh. stitched over that. And oh. I've stitched over that with the three different brands in this set. Right. So Wonderful I don't know if the camera can actually pick up that there are actually three different brands running through that. And with thread sketching, you would just simply free machine quilt, but you're sort of colouring in as, as you would a felt tip pen, really. Yeah. You know, when you go back and forth over your lines and you can get yeah. some really, really interesting results. Yeah, you could see there on the close-up, couldn't you? You could see all of the different tones around. That's what gives the depth to, the life to, um, the branches and the trunk there. Very, very nice indeed. It is, and the leaves mm. were dyed with a plant called Madaru, and I used a Sizzix dye to cut them out. Yeah, yeah, bottom of the screen for your Sizzix big dye, the butterfly flower leaf and shamrock. Uh, there you get uh, all three shapes in the one big dye for fourteen ninety nine plus delivery, and it's 879120. Right, so I'm ready to go. Is that the project? There you go. Yes, because I have to keep changing the bobbin and things on the sewing course, machine. Of course. So I'm still going to free machine quilt, but I'm going to go around some of these leaves now. Okay. And when you think about a leaf in nature, when is a leaf ever the same? Yeah. So if people have a wobble, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But with this collection, the colours just go so nicely together. Mm. So I'm going to pick on this leaf here. But another little tip with whatever you'd like, I can bring my bobbin thread from underneath okay. to the top of my work and in the bobbin is the 50 weight thread yes, 50. Yeah. so I'm going to put that down again so there we go a, um, speciality uh, thread uh, uh, holder as well um, and uh, keeping our threads organized yes, uh, organized yeah, too. Yeah. because you can see it's just pulling off and it's just keeping that tension mm. and you just want your sewing machine to pull because often when it's a tension issue mm. very rarely is it the user's fault much as you don't want to blame your machinery mm. it could be a bit of extra lint on the thread or something like that yeah. so the thread tamers come in very handy today indeed that thread tamer is available on today's show and uh, you can get hold of it via the phone or the website yep yeah, so i'm gonna have a go and i'm you're going to help me with my hands again. <laughs> okay, then, yeah, just <laughs> make sure that you can see them. everything. I'll let, I'll let Angela know if, uh, yep. if we start blocking anything, because it is difficult to keep everything in mind. So I'm going to go around the outside of the leaf, first of all, okay? And just as I start, I'm going to keep my thumb on my threads, okay. just to make sure they're going to behave. There we go. So I'm away now. So now I'm just going to follow literally the edge of the leaf, and I'm probably trying to keep my hands a little bit further away from my work than I would normally do. 
but am I doing okay? Good for us. Yeah, no, thank you, Angela. Yeah, we can see everything yep, here. Yeah, brilliant. You. So, I would try and be what I call scary close to the edge, so you're still on it. Mm -hmm. And you're just following the outside round. And that's where these guys are lovely. I'm going to go down the stem, back up again, and back to where I started. And I'm going to come back to the beginning of the leaf. Okay. So I'm going to do a stem up the leaf now. Okay. And I guess if people are worried, you could actually draw this line in with a fabric marker pen or something like that. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to come to one side, I'm going to come to the other, I'm going to come out here. And I think this actually would look, would look really good. So as well as use the cotton, um, you could also use the fabric looks as well. Mm. So you could really mix and match your threads here. Because then, of course, you have the effect of the cotton.